The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make, make the, the jump. Make the jump. I know. Please be seated and hold on. The train is about to make the jump. Five. Four. Three. Two. Two. What the? Huh? Uh. 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 Huh? The hell? Um, what the fuck? Hey, I'm I'm, I'm in the 2.0 special program with Dawei, everybody. What the? F where am I? Hello? Not another one. Oh, Acheron. What the? F uh, wait. What do you mean another one? Come with me. Hi, Allegra Clark. Uh, who are you? What is this place? Where are we going? Who, who are you? Right in May. Acheron. Person, woman, hot woman. Who are you? <laughs> These questions have no meaning, but I yes, will answer do. you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. <laughs> uh, dreamscape. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. <laughs> right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape, and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Okay. Okay, I thought we would... I didn't think we'd meet this early. What the hell? Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with... I want to forget you. ...faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens... God, look at her design. New dawn. It is an occurrence that... We have become accustomed to. I just realized she has like a fire tattoo on her leg there. That's that's sick. <gasps> so come with me. I'll take you home. Oh, take me home. All right. I'm sorry, but. Wait, 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 where do you want me to go? Left the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Can I look around? What's this giant shell or bed or whatever? There's modders of pine trees? What's that say? I cannot read. And some of these Yeti cups are just like floating and shit. Where the fuck am I? I really feel like I have been like transpired to like the Persona Velvet Room, which is topical because I'm like in the process of playing uh, Persona 3 Reload right now. What is this? Why are all those hands reaching for that, um, uh, the crack? I'm, I have the feeling there's a lot of symbolism in this room that's just flying over my head as of right now. But already, let's get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. I, oh, no, oh, this is a quarter of floating fish. I'm not there. Turn back. What if I want to go this way? What if I want to go through this door? You you can't force... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess I can't go anywhere else. Where else? Galaxy Ranger Acheron. Galaxy Ranger, okay. Whoa, she you disappeared. Call me whatever you want. I'm gonna call you Raiden. Because you remind me of somebody that looks like Raiden. So, we're in the land of dreams right now. Yeah, even it says a strange dream at the top, like, left there. Yeah, and I guess since we're in a dream world, nothing is, has to make sense. Whoa. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Oh, you can still remember. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Wait, this are we on the roof? No way. Holy shit, look at this place. Wait. Wait, there's... There's stuff at the bottom and stuff on the top, too? Oh, because, yeah, right, there's, like, there's, like, fucking superficial, like, gravity shit. Where you can like walk on the walls and like just end up on the other side and shit. I forgot about that. This way. <laughs> she, she sounds so done with my shit. Oh wait, this is is After this how you, I? Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Oh how yeah. Is this even possible. <laughs> Jack of all trades. Holy shit. Why not. She can hear the thoughts in my head. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, you just accept that this this is happening right now. I'm not gonna explain shit to you. You just you just have to find out. Oh wait, 
That that's uh Sunday and Robin, right? Over there? We're almost there. Can you still walk? I think so. Uh now I am become trailblazer. The <laughs> the per the per the perma bulator of walls. Is that that's an open hyper reference, right? I feel a bit faint. <laughs> now I become Trailblaze, the permeator of walls. <laughs> You're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. <laughs> Could you not say I'm funny in that tone? <laughs> she says it in such like a disgusted tone as well. It's just like, she's so done with my shit already. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Okay. Hold up, I want to bring up my... Oh, wait, no, no, I want to bring up my camera. Is that... Is that Venturine over there? Or is that just some genetic N NPC? But, but that... For sure, that's... Uh, wait! Wait, that's the wolf and Sam! They're just chilling right here? Oh, hold up, I want to look around. These voices... Okay, They're listen to them. They're shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Hold on, I want to listen to this. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth. Holy shit, yeah, that's Sam. They will naturally reciprocate. Fucking, he fucking looks fucking sick. He looks like a Gundam. <laughs> he, he looks like a Gundam. Like, yeah, gun, he's like wearing a, a Gundam suit or something. Oh, and there they go. Wait, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that is Aventurine and Dr. Ratio. Ah, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might we're just, emerge... Okay, we're just, we're just getting thrown in here. Just, yeah, here are all the new characters. Go, go look at them. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. I didn't, yeah, I didn't thought that was Adventurine at first because he didn't have, his, like, his, his hat or his glasses. The Charmony Festival stage belongs... And yeah, Sunday and Robin. You, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does the stage have? And yeah, you guys told me they are angels? At least I think you told me you guys told me they were angels because of the, the wings. God though their designs look pretty. Both of them, I mean. Anybody else? Can I peer into more? Oh yep, yeah, there we go. Black Swan Sparkle. Memo keeper. Do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Is it me? Please tell me it's me. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, I'm not gonna be a simp this whole thing, this whole time, all right? <laughs> but holy shit, though. Fucking okay. okay. <laughs> we just got, we just got to see just pretty much everybody here. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, right, right. Acheron, right? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna catch up. Hold on, I just want to see if there's anybody I missed or anything of the sort. Okay, that's everybody. Okay, let's continue. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> okay, this just got trippy. We're here. We are? Uh, will I ever see you again? Welcome to the Reverie. Oh, Misha. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Yeah, I wonder what's happening in reality right now. Is Himiko and Walt just watching me have like an acid trip or something? Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter. No, I don't want to forget. Once you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. Yes, I would marry you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Yes, I'm single. Have we met somewhere before? Oh, that. Oh. Um, I met you in Genshin Impact when you were in Archon. Uh, perhaps we have. Probably not. I don't know. What do you mean? What's going on? Uh, perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. Hmm. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. 
Okay, I've heard vaguely about Honkai Impact 3rd, but... Is she referred to, like, Kiana? Kiana, I think that's her name, the protagonist of Honkai Impact 3rd? Because I do know, like, the writing of Honkai 3rd, and I think Kiana are shipped together, like, heavily. <laughs> I wasn't here for the beginning. Did you try rolling on the banner or are you waiting? Oh, I I, I, uh, I pulled for Black Swan and uh, yeah, uh, got her materials and whatnot. That's what else I, that, that's what I was doing for the beginning, the first hour of the stream. But yeah, I, hmm. You evoke memories of an old friend. I'm assuming that's not what it's referring to. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, that's the basics I know of, uh, of like a uh, Honkai Third lore. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Okay. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. I've made many social links in my time in the stars. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> bring on the red flags. <laughs> I cannot bear such a fear. If it means losing them, uh, I would. If it means that I will disappear, I would. I feel no fear, I don't know. If it means losing them, I would. If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Mm. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. Well, like Maruki? <laughs> I would like ask, a Maruki ending? Would you wish to stay? I would, no matter the cost. If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. That depends on the price I have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. I don't know. It is giving me like heavy, like Maruki vibes. If you guys play Persona 5 Royal, you would know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that depends on the price I have to pay. Now, imagine if. This splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would abandon it. The price is too dear. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon it. The trailblazing was never my intent. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Mm. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you from somewhere. I know this is the first time we met. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I mean, I remember you from Genshin, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen you before in this game. I understand. 
How hmm. interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. Will we meet again? Uh, you haven't told me how this uh, how it leads, Slays. Will we meet again? Yeah, of course we will. I'm on the banner. <laughs> the golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. Uh. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, oh boy, that shot. <laughs> there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. It? What's it? Okay. What you must do now is ponder its significance. Dude, look at that sword of hers. Looks so freaking cool. And then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> oh god. That's how we all find our heads. Ah! Did you kill me? What the fuck? Oh, 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 my guts are so intact. Holy shit. What the fuck was that whole ass sequence? Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Do you remember me? Yeah, what the fuck was that whole ass sequence? Yeah, that was, that was a trip and a half, I would say. And yeah, we got to see, like, pretty much everybody. Like, like yeah, Adventurine, Robin Sunday. We didn't see Firefly. But I'm assuming we meet her like on the path on the way there, maybe. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Walt and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Mm, shall we go meet up with them now? Hell yeah, I'm ready to go. Panacone, the planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. And of course, the planet with the biggest red flags as well. Oh yeah, look at that background. Oh, uh, holy shit, we're here. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, just the lobby even looks so, so good. Yeah, very, very futuristic. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. <laughs> Could they do that? Thankfully, they didn't. The Stellaron is stable. has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. Yeah, the holy and shit, look at that. Knows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. That's easily like like 10,000 or more, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, and listen to this music. Oh my god, so good. Hey, there's Welcome to the Reverie. Ah, you were my dream. An unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. It's a chat from the dream. Do you work at this hotel? It's a chat from the dream. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here! Something's not right! Oh. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, we're finally here. Holy shit, yeah, look at this place. Oh yeah, and the giant fucking... Is that, is that a giant record player? That is! What the... My goodness, yeah, this place looks freaking beautiful already. What's going on? But your name really isn't in the system. Are you shitting me? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express for Platinum Guest Rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and 
Me. Mr. Don Hung. Oh, what the fuck? These are the only four names on the reservation Ooh, list. You forgot to include me? Uh, yes. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. God damn it. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... God damn it. Show Trailblazer's profile. Show Architect Lance! <laughs> yeah, you want to score up with me, bitch? No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Oh. Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Oh! Is the most important moment of every era. Holy shit, his eyes! And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Hi, Aventurine! Oh my god, he, he looks he, he looks a lot more evil <laughs> in this uh in her in his model than I than than I ever saw him in like the other splash shots he has. Good lord, like, yeah, look at those eyes. Ugh. <laughs> they are doing weird things to me. Well, hotel security is on high alert weird vibes. With zero room mm. for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. Well, then we what do I do for all the trouble our check in seems to have caused? Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC strategic yep. investment department, a non performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to supervisor diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker, hmm, the watchmaker. And if yep, he's also Topas's uh, colleague. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. Uh, you're telling me. I suppose me. such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Oh, jeez. It must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely Wait, we're gonna pay him? <laughs> miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pinnacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, mm. I must point out that... That? If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort. Not a favor from you all. <sighs> Damn, okay, this guy's hard to bargain with. But what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Hmm. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Uh, yeah, Aventurine just seems very, very, very sus. I'm, I don't trust this man as of right now. Hmm. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you. Yeah, and I, I do notice somebody said, or some people have pointed out that that tattoo he has on his neck there spells out slave. 
at least in English spelling. We know Honkai Star Royale has like a different like lettering system or something, but yeah, some people have pointed out that the stuff on his neck spells out slave. Well, if you read it in English, I'm not sure what it spells out if you read it in the uh, Honkai Star Royale language, but it's probably something else, not slave. Or so I'm we think. Glad you have put it this way. So about the vouching? There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, if I if, if, even I was checked out, I would have, like slept in the trash can and that would have been perfectly fine, you know? I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. Mm. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... No buts. Ali, just oh. a moment. Speaking of Mr. Sunday... <laughs> the family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Burdens? Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. Hey, there they are. Oh it's my god. <laughs> The most handsome man in Panicum. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. Most handsome man indeed. Holy shit. Yeah, they, they both look so, so beautiful. <laughs> he said you were the most dashing person in Panicomi. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Mm. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Oh. Oh, Robin's dragging us along. Uh, oh wait, can I, can I eavesdrop? Hello, friend. How oh, hi. <laughs> I sincerely hope you don't mind. I really, really do. Can I step like five steps away from you? Uh, I do mind. It's fine, I don't mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. Wait, really? I'll gladly accept it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Nothing should come between friends. Tell me, whatever you need, it's on my tab. Please excuse me, I have some matters to attend to. So I must depart, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Do I actually get the 10,000 credits? Oh my god, I do. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, uh, might be, might be, uh, I might be too quick to, uh, to judge this, uh, Venturine guy. Nah, I'm still, I'm still sus of him, though. He's, he seems, I don't know, just the tone of his voice and his eyes and everything just make me not want to trust him. Okay, but let's, uh, go see Robin, right? Yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh boy, <laughs> careful now. You don't turn into the next Lisa. Oh, it really is Robin to run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Huh, Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local oh, you're... leaders at Penacony. Oh, I thought he is also the organizer senior? of the Era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Wait, senior, not brother? What? Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Okay, please thanks. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in oh. prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express. Okay, he's not gonna I lie. For an amicable partnership <laughs> moving forward. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I thought something would be a bit taller, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that shot earlier really just made him seem, seem a lot taller, but right now he seems like he's shorter than Welts. Yeah, I thought he was a tall, tall man, but he seems I don't know, from this angle he just seems kinda short. Maybe he's actually actually like really tall and though. Yeah, maybe he is. I just gotta get a Thank close look at him. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. 
but are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Hmm. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. Tell me about it. But since that Mr. Which day was he? Sunday. Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally. How do you forget a name like that? Like, come on, your name is March 7th. How do you forget a name that's more bizarre than yours? I'm already a little winded. I hope we don't run into any more trouble. Are all the family members, all the family names so strange? Uh, this is just a stage name, I guess. Is it? I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Pentaconi's huh. or the family's. Okay, so Sunday and Robin are not their actual names. Okay, there's no hmm. queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Let us in the room, bitch. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. <laughs> it serves as your hotel room key as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. <laughs> I don't like the dream this dreamscape pass. See, it looks creepy. Oh god. <laughs> I, I don't like this. I don't trust this Mr. Clocky figure. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. Yay? You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save huh. your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. So I can take pictures of my dreams and bring them to reality. That's... I have no idea how Regarding that works, but method of cool. Usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. All right, let's go to the VIP lounge. Whoa. Oh, this is a place for my. Is it? Oh, no, it is a place in my dreams, but no ceiling. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, I like the little We're the music here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Oh yeah, well, fucking jazzy. Well, let's drink first. Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Like, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. No, it might be poisonous. Do no. you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Penicone to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. And here I thought we became here because of a Stellaron or something. Hmm. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Hmm. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would huh. play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Meaning? A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. Oh. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, 
The Riddlers, or Inquisition spirits, could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. Huh. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. And he never told us? The IPC ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Hmm. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. Yeah, that's just some weird choice of words as well. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Mm -hmm. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Sus. It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Okay, sorry to interrupt you guys' uh, like things. Like, I'm paying attention to the dialogue and all, but this jazz music in the background, though, is fucking... Oh, well, it's over now, but <laughs> it was killing it just now. Like, holy shit. Why didn't you tell the others? Yeah, why wait till now to tell just Vault? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penacone or the family. But you said so yourself. <laughs> what are they talking this about? Concern the trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Hi. Before we set off... I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Wait, what? We've already been told, but just not well? <laughs> so I was Bro. the one who kept in the dark then. Uh, I just found out about the... I too just found out about the invite thingy. Time to get involved. Ain't no biggie when galactic baseballers in the house. <laughs> Panacone's situation is getting complicated. <laughs> Let's tread lightly. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? <sighs> there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacone hmm. is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Okay. Time to head back to my room. Before yes. entering the dream, I should probably talk to the Oh rest. yeah, the IPC is also here as well. Alrighty, before I head to my rooms, I would like to get wasted. Oh, Bartender, so give me your finest drinks. Ooh, crackling champagne and classic so glad. I will take all of those, even though I just said they were sus. Give them to me. Alright. I'm not sure if I'm even legal to, <laughs> to to drink alcohol, but I don't care. I'm just gonna take it. Oh, hey, Hamico's here. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? Uh, about the Watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the Watchmaker. Penacone's household name and figure. Hmm. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the Watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. Hmm. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. About that IPC representative, uh, Venturine, yeah. An IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver... Oops, one one. ...tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. 
My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. And about that dream journey. The dream Panacone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. 12? I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have hmm. more of a nameless So glad festivity fire. auditions the and scorch sand venue. The is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Okay, that's enough shit for now. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and... Oh shit, <laughs> well, sorry for skipping the last part, but yeah. Good night, Yimiko, but I also want to speak with Waltz as well. The decor in here is a little, uh, loud for my taste. So this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? Uh, watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Panacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Mm. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless i've got no leads for now what the family the family believes in the harmony and uh -huh. their altruism is well known across the stars a trait that is intimately tied to panacone's stability and prosperity but some factions have always been wary of the family uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive so far it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy so i don't think we need to worry about that for now <sighs> How about the dream journey? Dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, okay. I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's Do I get to choose between the 12 or does it just choose for me? Panacone's history and civilization. Panacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Hmm, that's enough shit check for now. The guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? Yeah, where is she? Yeah, maybe she's upstairs, alright. Let's go on up. Let me go this way first, just in case I want to see. Uh, for me, lock door. Okay, but there's red markers on these doors, so eventually I can go inside of them. Hold up, I want to look for chests first. Chests? Yes, yes. Give it to me. I don't care if it's somebody else's luggage. You're mine now. <laughs> the, the, the jades in that chest are mine. Chest right over here. Damn it, I could have... Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> there is a chest over here. Hell yeah. And I'm going to steal your, your menu. <laughs> or your diary. Yeah, I'm going to steal your diary if you don't mind me. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the trailblazer. I can do whatever the hell I want. God. Why is my room door open? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I, I wanted to hear March first. Uh, March was saying something about a bathroom? Uh, hold up. I'm not going to go in there. Hang on. I want to see where March is. But ain't that a Venturine in my room? What the hell is he doing there? Hold up. Uh, wh where is March? March. Oh, here. Oh, that's a bathtub? I can't wait to uh, I mean, I guess so, but... Hmm. Uh, wait, where are you thinking of going? Uh, the moment of dusk, obviously. How can you not visit the shopping paradise when you're at the resort of all resorts? <laughs> I'm all ready to fill my bags to the brim. Even in dreaming, you just dream of shopping, huh? Fucking hell. <laughs> My shopping, I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Penacone Grand Theater. About Robin, you know, it's weird. Well, noticed it too about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. Hmm. I can't quite put my finger 
on it. Mm, but it was different than usual. Maybe it's not the real Robin. So let's put a tinfoil hat on. Maybe that's not the real Robin. Maybe it's an imposter. Maybe the real Robins are been murdered. And the whole family stuff is just made up of imposters. So it's like Among Us. We're playing a whole last game of Among Us. Okay, okay, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just, that's just my theory right now. That That's not the real Robin we met. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. About the event. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation. But nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle. A power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, um, worlds torn apart. I'd, I'd rather not witch it and witness tragic losses. Thank you very much. Nope, I don't want to watch that like either. That, this is simply too thrilling. I hope you meet in your dreams or shit like that. <laughs> you got quite the act of imagination. That sounds too scary. I too want to see a river of blood. Hell yeah, bleed a river for me. <laughs> If you kill enough people, that's possible. Uh, that's enough chit chat for now. Uh, don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's just make the most of it all while we're here. Hey, by the way, there's some creepy guy in my- Okay. <laughs> I was gonna ask for your help to deal with the guy in my room, but... Uh, I see. You don't care about me. Uh, hi, Adventure Arena man. <sighs> Can you please not? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, take him by surprise. <laughs> Choke him out. <laughs> yeah, what the heck are you doing in here? Oh, fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. This is my room. What are you doing here? This your is this your room? We meet again, friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, pal. Hold on, there's a chest over there. Let me go grab that real quick. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. Oh. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Wait, what? A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Oh boy, you're the one who transferred it to me? You were the one who arranged a check-in? Well, it doesn't matter, you need to leave. I'm not gonna say that. You're the one who transferred it to me? I just of wanted course. Don Hunk's room. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Oh. Pentagoni's the true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? Reverie. Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Ugh. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Uh, can I can I invite a friend? Uh, what do you want to talk about? You should go talk to Himikawa Welts and yeah, they would know more. Go talk with mom and dad, please. Wrong. You're the one I seek. Okay. Well, simply put, my friend. Be gentle with me I now. Your help. Oh, that's you what may you mean. Never mind. This, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, mm. as well as the preservation's protection. Help retrieve the IPC. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. What does that mean? It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. 
You possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Oh boy. Oh, or she knows. You don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, uh -oh. have I hit the nail on the head? Uh, how did you know? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm warning you, you need to leave now. Get out! Warning me? <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Okay, yeah, I thought that wouldn't do anything. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. Ugh. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Oh boy. I would think about it. I can't make this decision on my own. You should be the big going. I'll think about it. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In the meantime, keep that boob window of yours out of my face. <laughs> oh, Why, yes. dude? Before I go, oh. let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. Uh... You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Oh, fuck. I have to guess now? Then a chip is stopped into the air and the book of an eye disappears between two clenched fists. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. This is the weirdest personality test I've ever <laughs> I've ever uh, played. Um, oh, I didn't get your answer, oh, but that's fine because. Uh, no, no, I, I'll answer. I I say I say right, right, right is always right. Friend. Uh, uh oh. The game has already begun. Allow uh oh, there's your glasses. Offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. Uh oh. What the fuck? And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? Oh shit, Akron. What are you doing in my room? Your? Your How many What? How many people own this goddamn room? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay, so you know, well of course we meet her again, but What the fuck, Adventure? What are you was he about to kill us? Well played. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Uh, not really. She's my dream friend, if you would oh, say. Don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Yeah, I'll definitely be keeping my eye on you, bud. <laughs> Hi again. Thank you. You are... Have you met somewhere? Uh... We have met. Why haven't you left? Uh... Eh, this, this is my room. Why haven't you... <laughs> why haven't you left? Why do I have to? Uh, this Because this is my room. Why is it your room now? <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. Hmm. This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. Okay, I, hmm, I wonder. What's with this red text? Is she like speaking in my mind or something? Or is she reading my mind right now? Yeah, what's that red text all about? Huh? I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. I have a strange feeling about this. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room, too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. 
but I wish to know. Yes, I am single. Have we met? <laughs> yep, <laughs> exact same question in our dreams. I was just, I was about to ask too. Whoa, deja vu. Perhaps in a dream. Per probably not. I was just about this to ask may too. Sound embarrassing because I would sometimes forget stuff I really shouldn't have from past experiences. It's just a habit of mine. Don't mind me. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Yeah, pleased to meet you again, Raiden. Uh, how do you know? Do you still remember me? I'm that famous now? <laughs> uh, do you still remember me? You forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but hmm. it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. No, we definitely will. You're a main character, and so am I. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on yep, that man's clearly. face, I see such a similar expression. Yeah, do not trust that man, no matter hot he might seem. One who wears mm. a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Bye bye. Also, I like the little Oni, like, <laughs> yeah, the things you got on your, uh, on your dress there. Good lord, yeah, she, she is so, so Japanese inspired. Acheron left. Hmm. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. It's like she's a woman in my dreams. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you again? What the fuck? <laughs> well, why you're back? Is there something else? Did, did it take long for you again? <laughs> why are you here again? <laughs> Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? Fucking hell. All these hallways really look the same to me. It's it's to the left. It's not that hard. <laughs> you show Akron the way and she thanks you again and again. Seems like it's over. Hmm. Time to work the dream pool according oh, to I... the dreamscape passes instructions. I actually got a Ventrine's coin. A token of the IPC. You remember the envoy played a little trick with it? Hmm. Hey, and I got Akron sticker. Memories seem to be different again. Hey, yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna put like, yeah, Akron right. Yeah, there we go. All right, this is all the people I like so far. Hold up, rotate, Ro rotate to the that way. There we go. Hey, look at that! All my favorite characters so far. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck yeah, I do not trust Aventurine. Fuck me. I thought he was a cool dude when I... When, like, he, I saw, like, I heard him on the call of Topaz. But now he's just like... Ugh. Ugh. He's a walking red flag as of right now. Like, Ugh. I I don't think I want to be anywhere near him as of right now. Oh, thank God I closed my door. Hey! hey I'm gonna leave my door open if any of you want to come in. Nah, nah. Please close, please close, please close. Please close. I'm not actually, I don't actually want to leave my door open. Please, please, please Welcome shut. To Pinaconi, Whoa. Guest. Hi, AI voice. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Oh, hey, it's a track. Lust Princip. Oh, now I can play on the express, sweet. Oh, so I actually have to go in the bath in order to dream. Okay, do, do I take my clothes off or do I just could go in there and soak all my clothes in water. You approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. The fragrance permeating the air together, the two, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious, reminiscent of rip, ripened fruits and distant oceans painted by the hues of a setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Lie down in the dream pool. You curl your body, uh, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the toiling of evening bells. 
the wild, the wild wren rustles through the barren plains, while the nightingale, seagull, swans, uh, and ravens add their sympathy to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drifts into the drowsiness. Okay, let's go ahead and drift into the dreamland. Oh, I just just going with my clothes on. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Whoa. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. I'm in paradise. A dreamland. Whoa. Ah. What the Mikhail? This thing this doesn't feel like paradise. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Ratio, why are you here? What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, where's that? Where's that head? You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Hmm. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Yeah, nah. Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. I'm true. I mean, without the feathers, but still. <laughs> It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Huh. Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Uh, where are you going? Yeah, didn't expect Rachel to be here on Panacani. Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything <laughs> i'm so glad he's here though i love him oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks why so serious <laughs> who cares if they're gone without that aventurine stone you're nothing more than a doomed sagonian huh. thrall sentenced to die by the ipc or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the amber lord okay it's meant to be a serial number okay <laughs> you're funny i'll give you that it appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? Mm. Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesce to elevating the magnitude of the plan. Well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Mm. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? Sagonian? <laughs> then, do you trust me? No. No, I don't. Okay, well, okay. That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. I did not mean to offend. None taken. 
But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Mm. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. Let me know about that. The Annihilation that. Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Wait, were all these guys invited to Panacony? Even even the Knights of Beauty, huh? And the Annihilation Gang too. What the fuck? Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. <laughs> I can just imagine Rachel just being just so this is rush out the doors, just like, the fuck this place or, or fuck this guy. The atmosphere here creeps me out. And what was that weird noise just now? Yeah, that weeds me out, too. Up, oh, get yeah, gallery of thoughts. So oh, I'm, not, I'm not even allowed to see the map right now. Uh, note. Hmm. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and you shall be granted an audience. Watchmaker's hey, advice. Can you see me? Over here. Oh, what the fuck? Please, come this way. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? What if I want, want to go through the door, though? The door appears unopenable from the side. Okay, never mind then. Uh, hi, Misha. You want to guide me through what's going on? Oh boy. Whoa! Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, I I thought you wouldn't notice me. Uh, I did? Hi, Misha? Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. Oh, I'm okay. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Okay, so you're actually here, but and you're not like part of my dream, right? We meet again. This whole place looks weird. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. It's under construction or maintenance. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Uh, what happened to a reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. You're not sure? I feel like I should know that. <laughs> What's the golden hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Golden hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, what? So, wait, am, am I just stuck here permanently? What? The dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come. Like, I guess maybe it stops until, like, I'm ready to leave or something. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To oh. avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So, don't worry. Okay, I just picked up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for no, you. No, I feel like it was for me. I'm truly sorry. Uh, how do I get to the golden hour? You just go right through that door to reach golden hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. Okay. I wish myself an unforgettable dream as well. Oh boy. Holy shit, even the background, so even pop ups asleep in there. Whoa! I'm flying! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh god, I'm not gonna die, am I? Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Yum chapos. What's that? What What's that? <laughs> Is nobody gonna help me? I just fell out the goddamn sky. Oh hi. I think I am. That the fall didn't hurt at all. Am I hallucinating? Are we in heaven or? <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Uh, are you actually here? Or are you m figments of my dream? <laughs> Robin. Please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin gets a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze of yours. She smiles, and you see her ripples shimmering in the depths of her lake green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Whoa, whoa. Am I being hypnotized? Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. You resonate with and become attuned to the serene v fusions of frequencies. Your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't worry, just relax. You'll be feeling Ooh. like your normal self in no time. Am I? Inhale. Now exhale. <laughs> they chance. Instincts compel and stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle warm a warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-color illusion delicately caresses the tip of your head, the top of your head, and closes your eyes. Its movements tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. Holy shit. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What does that mean? What did you just do to me? Did you just brainwash me? What's that sound just now? And what's that clock going on in the background? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Okay. <laughs> Essentially, the dream of Penacony is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Okay. That's a great analogy. I get it now. This is deep. Does that mean I can levitate in the air? <laughs> Theoretically, you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all... We don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. But that I will. Holy shit, look at this place. Oh, hey, March. Wait, if we can text in our dreams? <laughs> awesome. We can even send messages in, even in the dream. You there yet? I'm there now. Yay. Uh, I just got in touch with him called Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the the auction. It's gonna be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? <laughs> Me. <laughs> You're at the golden hour. I heard the Dreamscape sales store there super famous. Can you please check it out for me, pretty please? Uh, if it's really fun, then I'll head over there next. All right, you got it. The Dreamscape. Holy sale. shit! I got, I got a new track as well. Should I visit it? I guess I will. Holy it's fuck! Look at this place. Testing. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. This is like giving me like Coruscant vibes from from Star Wars, <laughs> but also like, oh my god, holy, holy shit! Are what's that moving up there? Are those like ships? Good lord, this place looks fucking pretty. Um, does anyone have any event code to help me? Oh, you mean the uh, f the 
friend invitation thing? Uh, yeah. My invitation code's right here if you need to, um... If you want to, like, yeah, key it in yourself. I think I may do this, like, later on, after, like, after, um, the stream's over, but, yeah. Feel free to use my invitation code here if you, if you need to. Okay, but, damn, like, fucking look at this place. Hang on, I'll, I want to take a look at- Whoa, holy shit! Uh... Wait, it talks? Oh, I'm guessing that's an audio player. Uh, uh What's so special about Soul Glad? Whoever answers this correctly will get a Soul Glad for free! It has a refreshing taste, it can cure various diseases. I can't go about my day without drinking it. Well said, you're clearly a loyal fan of Soul Glad. Here's your Soul Glad. We've always treated our loyal customers well. Thanks. Oh, fucking. I even got a sticker of the fucking billboard. Okay. Hi. Oh god, does it follow me? Ah! <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> get, get away from me, foul beast. <laughs> that is just. Grade A creepy. I'm sorry. You guys don't mind me if we take like a bit of a stroll around here in Panacani, don't you? I want to take a look at this place yet before we get on to the uh, the quest. I love this place already. It's so so vibrant and funny as well. What the hell? I can buy things from this eye, Doctor Edward. The hell are you? Dr. Edward, at your service. What kind of a dream would you like to experience now? Um... What the... 100k nameless memory bubble? The fuck is this? And why is it 100k? I'm buying it. Oh wait, why does it pump up in it? An unusual dream bubble that's said to contain the dreams of... Akivili, a fallen eon. Okay, it seems expensive, but... What does it do? That better be worth my money, that's all I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm truly the worst nameless in the world. Oh wait, are those- are these the thoughts of Pom Pom? Aww. I- I really hope it's not Pom Pom thinking that. I feel so bad. Yeah, maybe I use that on like something else. Nameless memory bubble. Oh wait, I can look at it! Oh! Oh, I view them here! Uh, how come Pom Pom's here? Am I Akivili now? What's going on? How come pop -Bomb's here? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memory. Huh. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If many details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. Oh. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning. <laughs> uh, Akibi, I'm listening. Why is there any sound? Who's speaking? Do I have to do the voiceover of Akibi for myself? My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were. Wait, really? <laughs> Perhaps even the warrior is unable to transmit this voice of Akivili. You gave me a faulty dream bubble. <laughs> However, Bro. I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akivili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Any voice I choose? Kick and I've done hung. Uh, any voice will do? Does it have someone to be am close to? That's quite a convenient feature. Anyone's voice will do? Yeah, this is like a CD, but in dream form, I think. Well, it, at least it seems to. You're close to. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant experience. <laughs> yeah, what the heck are we, dream detectives? Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Uh, oh, I can actually choose. <laughs> I can have Pom Pom talking to Pom Pom. Wait. Myself? Well, Tamiko. Myself in a different gender. Oh my god, I can choose my male self. I can I can choose I can choose Kalos if I really wanted to. Oh god, this is cool. Ah fuck, what voice do I want what do I want to listen to being being judged? March, Don Hung? I wanna see Don Hung be judged guilty, honestly. But Himiko and Welt are also funny as well. Fuck, please let me do this like multiple times just so I can hear all the voices. I want to hear Well getting scolded. I really, really want to hear Well getting scolded. Yeah, let's do this. Splendid! I'm rendering it as we speak. A 
replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an I, I hope we can replay this again with like the other characters. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? You rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium <laughs> and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 200. Jesus, what does this guy do? Food. Whose memory am I seeing right now? War criminal? <laughs> <laughs> causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Okay, whoever this freaking nameless is, they're a real troublemaker, I see. You plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty, Pom Pom. Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in... It does I was thinking too, like, isn't this... This feel like... This, these feel like all you things that March would do, yeah. <laughs> you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing. <laughs> but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express. I, I I did eat the last one. I'm so sorry, Pine Pom. <laughs> Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the express data bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. What? <laughs> Disrupting the conductor's rest. Okay, I don't think Mark would do that. <laughs> break into the conductor's exclusive Or maybe, ball. who knows, maybe she would. Who knows? Uh, what does these have to do with Akivili? This trailblazing expedition of yours is a, indeed an elating one. Does soul glad really exist in that era? My home, by order of the Alsatius delicious first so glad oh, the bro. <laughs> it really do be like, yeah, we're not allowed to be sponsored by any other drinks other than Soul Glad. So Soul Glad's like the only beverage in the dream. <laughs> and that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. <laughs> It's so funny to hear this Welt's voice. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? <laughs> of course there is. Oh, who? Who? The guy who blew up the train into two pieces. And who would that be? Uh, no context. Okay, well, it just ends there. But can I can I go again, but with like another character, please? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. I want to do this again. But we'll do this just once, though. I don't want to be here all day. But I want to hear. I want to hear Don Hugsy. I want to hear. Yeah, I'll just skip ahead until like their voices. You plead guilty to this charge. Yes, I plead guilty. I plead guilty, Pom Pom. You plead guilty to this charge. Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> He's like actually putting emotion into this. You, you plead guilty to this. The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, <laughs> but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the. Hearing Don Hook so panicked, it's just bringing so much joy in me. I don't know why. Ahem. There are cases. Of uh. Let me reiterate that I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream. And that's not even half the list. Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. In the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? <laughs> of course there is. Who? Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. <laughs> this is so fucking great. I love this shit so much. Hang on, one more, one more time. Caleb will have a riot when he hears this. Yeah, I can imagine the voice actors had fun with this one. Oh, it's so, so good. I'm so glad I spent 100000 on that. <laughs> Money well, 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 well spent.
<laughs> yeah, well, where Caleb and Nicholas, like, yeah, the VAs of Caleb and, uh, and Don Hung are, like, yeah, two really, really huge goofballs. I really do want to, like, watch your stream sometime when I have the chance. This is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that... Oh. A giant eyeball? Wait, I'm meant to come here anyways? Okay, so I guess I kind of went there before the story wanted me to. <laughs> Hi, giant eyeball. Trailblazers from the asteroids. Welcome to Dream Scale Hi, I was just here earlier and I peered into the memory of somebody talking to Pom Pom. Uh, who's talking to me? How do you know who I am? Psychoanalysis, okay. We have it all! If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? Yes. Please be rest assured. At this point, yes, right? Yeah. The Dr. Ed will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first green escape. I just bought one already, though. An exclusive and marvelous Greenland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream. It's no. a contribution from an anonymous donor, and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. Oh, well, I already got one, though. And this dream bubble is perfect for you. Uh, how do you know what I want? Is this the memory of Akifili? How many credits do I have to pay? Oh, free! My favorite price! Enjoy their first dream bubble for free. Well, that wasn't the case when I bought the 100k one, though. The hell? Rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Okay. Touch the dream bubble. Oh. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Yeah, it's this one again. Do you plead guilty? Yeah, it's it's the one I saw earlier. Okay, I guess we can skip through this. Um, that guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing I meant to see this first in the trailer because before I did the ones earlier. <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, that's quite fascinating. What do all these have to do with Akvili? I already did. <laughs> I almost experienced something like this. So that first dream bubble for free was just a CEO switch, huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Uh, I already bought it. 100k means nothing to me at this point. Well, we're going to buy it. I'll buy it. I mean, I already have. <laughs> Look <Thank> at that. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh, bye bye, creepy eyeball. <laughs> As this is your first time using the dream bubble... Oh, free a sticker! Fast. Yay! You can use it to decorate your dreamscape pass and commemorate your unique trip to Pentacle. I was hoping I would find some clues... Uh, about I was hoping I'd get the eyeball. Like, the entire eyeball. Uh, can't expect it to be that easy. Damn. Okay, well, you whatever. I bought it anyways. Yeah. Oh, well, what the fuck? What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Uh, yeah, what the hell's going on here? Oh shit, it's Firefly, right? Watch your step now. Hey! Don't even think about running away. You stow away. Stow away? Uh oh. Oh my god, her eyes though. <sighs> Sorry for bothering you. Please. I need your help. Oh my god, you are so precious. <laughs> How can I help you? What happened to you? Who are you? I'll do my best to protect you, a pretty young lady. <laughs> he just instantly accepts. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Uh. Oh, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. The fuck? Uh. Oh, bat. Okay. Battling time. What the fuck? Uh, okay. This is my first time facing these enemies. Dream Job Tropes Bubble Hound and Dream Job Tropes Mr. Dome Screen. Oh boy. Okay, uh. Well, let's hope they don't kick my ass here. Uh. Ill fate descend. Bam. May as well kill them all. Oh, wait, does, wait, does the music change depending on this guy's mood? 
Wait, I could have sworn the music just changed there. Oh no, the music's the same. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I heard from the special program you don't want to make this guy angry. I might try to refrain from doing that. Uh stand still. Arcana burst. Destiny is Okay, then if I do this, he goes back to normal, right? Hey, he's happy now. Oh thank you, thank you Mr. Uh, Clockman. <laughs> And he, like, actually supports us, right? When he's happy. <laughs> At least I think so. And then kill the doggies. Or, or, or the robot dogs, I mean. Oh, fuck it, he's pissed now. Oh god, kill him, quick! Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I would hope that kill him. Okay, now they're dead. Whew. What the fuck were those enemies? That's enough, boys. Oh shit, Gallagher! My man! Uh, sir, sir! What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who... Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? He's a Chad. Look at his brown hair. Look at him. Look at, look at that stubble. <laughs> He's supposed to call your character officer, with facial hair. <laughs> by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. What? How? What, what evidence do you have? That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Huh. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thanks for the rescue, Daddy. I mean, what? Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. Hi, good man. <laughs> What's your I'm name? Gallagher from the Bloodhound. Gallagher, yep. And those from the Bloodhound family. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Uh, what's what about the story? Who's a silver-haired guy? Who are the Bloodhound family? Yeah, I'm gonna ask about this. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. Ah. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> yeah, are you okay? Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. No, oh, even her voice sounds super sweet. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Well, yeah, I'll reach out to the young bloodhounds if you don't fucking accuse me of being an accomplice again. <laughs> oh, I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. I'm happy to help. Well, my help doesn't come free. <laughs> Galactic baseballer, here at your service. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> by the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? How do you know? Are the names really that famous? I'm not doing autographs today. <laughs> I'm not doing autographs today. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Though I do admire the nameless. The family invited you here, right? I I'd be happy to show you around. Oh, no need for that. I looked around plenty myself. <laughs> Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly. Firefly, and hey. I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. 
Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a need to our guide. Don't you work today? Well, I'm not booked for any performances. And most visitors to Penacony don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own entourage with them. Well, you have a job now. Looks like life on the planet facilities can be pretty tough. No, it's not like that. Penacony is where people realize their dreams. There's always a festive atmosphere here. It's just that things can get a little crazy with the Charmony Festival drawing near. Uh, I'm counting on you for a good tour then. Are you a family member? Me? No, I I'm not one of them. Hmm. Not yet. I merely work for them. You notice her, her lowering her lashes and looking around, paying close attention to the crowd, as if something is hiding in it. But she quickly collects herself and returns her eyes to you. Well, hmm. We can talk about that another time. Right now, I want to give you a tour of the town. Here we go. Let's -a go. Over here. It's yeah, she seems sweet so far. Oh, hey. Place. Sticker. Ooh, I got, a, yeah, I got a sticker of Gallagher. You know what? Actually, uh, real quick. <laughs> Hold up. I'm going to put some stickers in my thing real quick. Uh, uh, there we go. And we'll put them like right about here. Let me rotate this a bit. Yeah, that looks good. All right. She's too adorable. I don't trust her. Hmm. I, I, I'm i sensing more red flags from her than anything else. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of people say that that she's uh, going to be the one uh, killed off at the very least. Like, yeah, she's the one with the highest death flags out of any character in the trailers. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods. Can I drive that car around? Candy toys and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Wait, seriously? Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available. Oh, damn! Maybe I want a car. Next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. I would like a nice meal. We're here. Oh, this restaurant? <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, oh boy. alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Okay, but I'm just warning you, I'm a heavy eater. I'm gonna order everything on the menu. <laughs> yeah, actually should warn you, I do have expensive tastes. <laughs> That shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. <laughs> well, those savings are going to be nothing after I'm done here. <laughs> oh, wait, I actually got, I get, I actually get money here. 20k. Thanks. And I'm going to go take that money and spend it elsewhere. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, this is Panacone's most iconic dish. Take your pick, it's my treat. Uh, ooh. Dreamy ice cone, cake rolls, champagne, potato fry sundae, ooh, a whole ass pizza. Yes, please, I'll take that. I'll take a burger as well. That sounds good. Taking an ice cream. Uh, can I buy everything? Oh, I, yes, I can buy everything. Yes, give me everything. <laughs> I want my stomach to be fucking full tonight. All right, I spent um, everything. This is... What? I, I warned you, I'm a heavy ass eater. Are you done ordering? <laughs> you. You have great taste. I. I'll get the bill. Oh no, I feel bad now. Oh no, I'm sorry. Can I take it back? Can I. Can I, uh. Can I give you some of your money back? Oh no, oh no, I feel bad now. Now, let's go this way. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I thought she was like running at me to like punch me in the face or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I just I, I'm, I was really hungry. <laughs> Fuck, I actually feel bad for her now. <laughs> oh yeah. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. The, the clocky statue? Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penacone's famous cartoon character. Why is his eyebrow moving like that? I don't like that. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. 
It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. Okay, totally not, not Mickey Mouse. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Yeah, why is, why is his eyelash moving? He looks cute. His character design is a little surrealist. Is it, is it having a clock as a character a bit ominous? Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> by the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Watchmaker? Is he famous? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony. The founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. Dream into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. Hmm. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. Okay, guys, so the power of bullshit and plot guessing powers. I'm gonna guess that, uh, maybe the watchmaker is clocky. Bam, that's my theory right there. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast. Mm. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. Really? After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless... Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Hmm. Would you like to take a picture with him? Thanks. I'll pass. I'm allergic to the camera lenses. Aha! I know how this goes. You're gonna charge me for a lot for taking the pic, aren't you? <laughs> of course not. What were you thinking? I know you were thinking of like getting your money back or something. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ah shit! The clock actually talks. Help. Help me. What the? You're a cry for help. That cry is. Coming from the clock, from Clocky's eyelash. The hell? Yeah, I knew that was something off about that eyelash. Huh? What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! Uh, the eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Uh. Hey, let's take a picture. <laughs> yeah, let's take a picture first. You want a photo with him? Sure. Please give me your phone. I'll take it for you. All right. Uh. Man, look at look at this fucking place. It's beautiful, I tell you. All right. Picture time. Oh, damn. It needs to be a picture of me. Damn. Okay. Uh, cheese. While this guy's stuck in the statue, still cheese. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm gonna save that actually. Photogenic. Help! Help me! Pull me out, please! Nah, I'm gonna just leave you there. <laughs> it's like a knife spit with Clocky. But the eyelashes are still begging for help. Nah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's go enjoy the, our sweet nightlife together. Okay, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull them out. Investigate the strange eyelashes. What the f- is, is, it a, is it a bird in there? Yank! Oh, what the hell are you? Beautiful person. Okay, why are you okay? One, why are you like really polygon ish? Like, you look like a Pokemon. <laughs> and two, how did you even get stuck behind the, the, the Clocky's eye? <laughs> uh, okay, that was weird. After letting out an adorable chip, the bird flies away. Before I, it left, it seems to have offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. Uh, see exactly what the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? D did you not see the birdie? 
that I yanked out? Uh, I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. I pull out his eyelashes. I can actually jump in this world? <laughs> Color me surprised. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, this is referencing... <laughs> yeah, so can't jump in this world, but... <laughs> you can jump in Konkai and... Uh, third in Genshin. <laughs> I can actually jump in this world? Color me surprised. <laughs> Just explain the joke for you all. You jumped just now. It was really sudden, too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Yeah, what was that origami bird? The origami bird bring branches and precious stones to build a city. However, these mis mischievous entities often turn into feathers and hide in various corners among the places they've made. If you see through a bird's mimicry, then please go up and interact with them. The friendly birds will prepare a gift for adventurers to discover them. Uh, some particularly playful birds won't directly admit their failure and require you to peel back their disguise little by little. Observe it carefully and try many times to figure out the ways to capture them. Okay, so more should do around Panacani. Okay, so I should probably keep my eye out for those like feathers and whatnot. Whoa, Can what's you here? See that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater. Another great landmark of Penacony. Holy shit, what's all the ripples around it? That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. Mm. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, Family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. Yeah, I thought those were trombones at first. Arrives, remember to be here or horns. if you want to get a seat. Okay. Oh, I guess I can view right now. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. That place up ahead is Ideen Park. Ooh. Everything here is themed around Oh yeah, this is the place with like the casino the slots and whatnot. Sure you can I this. actually gamble here? This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad Enterprise, is okay. Originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was Susa. the Sisajus. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Huh. Also, is that a gotcha pawn machine, like, on the left there? That, yeah, that really, really looks like a gotcha pawn machine. Did I want to pull know? on it. One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. Huh. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. She probably freezes, and the fleeting moment you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow. Or perhaps something behind you. What are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. Hmm. She's being pursued or something. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Hang on. I see a gotcha on and I want to pull on it. Where is it? Uh, where, where, where? There it is. Also, yeah, let me, let me grab that real quick. Hang on, Firefly. I wanna, I wanna gamble. I wanna gamble these things. Oh yeah, yeah, that is a gotcha pawn machine. Please let me, uh, yeah, let me do it. Come on. Ah, gotcha, man, you know fun game. Okay, fine, I'll wait. I'll wait before you, you let me play. I will steal some shit around here, though. God, this place is so, so vibrant. So, so different from, like, the Sienjo. musical instruments playing themselves with no and human every other places. Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. Oh, shit. After being tamed by the family... Tamed? Some of them formed the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. 
So you're telling me that the instruments are like animals? Huh. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troop. What the fu- <laughs> That sounds dangerous. Run into them? Go ask the security guards nearby for help. Okay, thanks for the heads up, I guess. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Oh. Let me get some ID to- Oh, yes, I guess. Yes, gambling. Hell yes. <laughs> Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Penicone. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Here you go. Stamped with my, uh, yeah. With my favorite waifus and husbandos. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. Yes. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks. Gambling. Okay. Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Uh, let's live it to the fullest. Let's do it. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Gotcha, Pawn. Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. Uh. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. Okay, fine. Per your recommendation, yeah, I'll do those first, but then, but then, yeah, I want to do the gold in the capsule machine last. Okay, uh, let's spin the wheel. Oh, okay. Super big prize. Okay, I get XP materials and relic, relic XP materials. Okay. Big prize I get. Oh, I get a three star relic. Cool. And then regular prize to just get materials. All right, play. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money. <gasps> yeah! Ice cream. <laughs> Today is my lucky day, holy shit. Okay, I wanna do the other ones as well. Yeah, let's do the, yeah, the, uh... Okay, which one of these work? Yes, yeah, dreamy slots, all right. Let's see what's here. Uh, A busting ambience, condensed ether and XP materials, and some, I guess some other shit as well. All right, spin to win. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Now. Oh, okay, big price. Okay, I'll take that. Wow, you won something on your first oh. attempt. Impressive. Oh, fuck. Only, only just freaking red material. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Okay, I'm guessing it's just random which one of these you get. And purple one's like the rarest thing you can get. Okay. Okay, spin again. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the super big price. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money. Damn it. Really goddamn more EXP materials. Okay, I mean, not complaining, but still. Again. Keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Ah, <gasps> oh, fuck you, game. God damn it. Uh, damn. <laughs> my got is just fucking pathetic ass battery. Damn, I used up all my luck on the fucking spin wheel one. Okay, one more try. One more try. <gasps> big prize, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah! I got a disco ball! Woohoo! Oh shit, uh... Firefly? Where'd you go? Find Firefly and bring the... Side scene to an end. Oh no, I'm not gonna end this. But I at least wanna know where she is. Firefly? Oh, there you are. Uh... What do you say? Ready to call it a day? Nah, 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 nah. Let's sit down at the snack bar for a while. No, wait. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I meant to do, I wanted to do it some more. Shit. I didn't mean to end it right there. I thought it would give me a dialogue option. Oh, well, I can do those later, right? Uh, yeah, I'll do those later. Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, it's nice. Everywhere is just magical. He's not a bit sad. It's all right. I've seen better places on other worlds. Yeah, everywhere is just Isn't magical right? in this place, honestly. It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. Don't worry, guys. I'll spend the rest of my tokens. Uh, yeah, after this. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. No. It was willing to accept me. 
even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. Aren't you a local? You should attach your feelings to stuff like this. Are you really a stowaway? Aren't you a local? I am. At least for now. For now? Uh oh. What are you looking at? Closer. Closer, please. I have a question for you. Yes? Did you travel here alone? No. Uh, my friends went to other dreamscapes. I am, at least for now. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, my friends went to the other dreamscapes. Oh. I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Somebody's trailing us, right? Well, someone's been following you. Y me? I thought they were following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that uh -oh. you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Uh-oh. Aventurine? Did he follow me here somehow? I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. Uh... He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Is... I guess I can summon it of describes Venturine, right? Uh, hmm. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. Uh-oh. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. Wait! I reckon he has no, it's not. using knives Wait, like a Sampo. sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Sampo, do you follow me here? Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, Hi, well, big boy. If it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. The Trailblazer Girl. <laughs> hey, the, uh, the, well, for one, I'm glad to see you here, but on the second hand, why are you here? It's been such a long time, old friend. Oh boy, don't wake at me now. <laughs> what I? A coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Uh, shampoo? Uh, shampoo? <laughs> what brings you here? I can't be dreaming, can I? Uh, I can't be dreaming, can I? <laughs> you're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacone. Of course you're in a dream. <laughs> you're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. I guess I did. Um, this gentleman is? Uh, oh, friend? March. Question mark? <laughs> Don't you remember me? What? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Hello, Sampo? This is not March. <laughs> this is Firefly. She's my tour guide. She, you should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure March 7 looks like this? <laughs> that is not March, my guy. <laughs> my name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. <laughs> oh, no wonder. I was just thinking... There's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. Uh, yeah. Wait, you want to explain why you're stalking me, buddy? Sampo Koski. Nice to meet you, too. Since when did I acknowledge you as my friend, Firefly? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here, Firefly. Let's ditch this guy. Come on. It's been so long since we last met each other. How can you just walk away like that? <laughs> Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? Are you the stowaway people have been talking about? <laughs> My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I already have one tour guide. I don't need two. <laughs> I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I could do much better. Uh, are you? Yeah. Entertainment for grown-ups? I don't think I want to go there yet. <laughs> entertainment for grown-ups? 
you uh, know, Sampo, you're not gonna bring me to a strip club. I'm Looks sorry. Like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Uh, I'll give you a taste of the adult world. Okay, I guess we just agree. Uh, uh, Mr. Sampo. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? How the hell did you get here? Don't oh. worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. All right, good. Uh, yeah, cool, cool to see you and all, Sampo, but why are you here? And also, why is this bird stuck underneath this cover? <laughs> chirp, chirp, open the lid for a prize. It's me, Chirp. I thought the were filled so glad, but it turns out it was just water. What a bum, Chirp. <laughs> now, let me get away from this bobbing man. <laughs> Let's go back to the master, young Master Gold and ask for some fruit, Chirp. Bye bye, I guess. <laughs> okay, hold up, Sampo. Before I go with you, I wanna, I wanna gamble some more. Uh, yeah. Are we? S sh is that even Sampo at all? Hmm. Please. Do like, yeah, does Sampo really follow us all the way here? After Yuilo Six. Because yeah, he was like lurking in the shadows. Hmm. Yeah, is it actually him, Sampo himself, or someone like taking the form of Sampo? I mean, you never know. It's a dream. Anything can happen. I had a feeling since his trailer, his eyes was a bit off. Well, uh, hmm. Mr. Sampo. True, you're right. Like her, his eyes was kind of glowing, you, like in that one trailer of of his. Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. <laughs> That's not the thing I'm concerned about, but okay. <laughs> Always nice to be reassured. This is the one. It has to be. Okay, yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh, wait, you you can get a light cone from this? A free Nihilidia light cone if you win the the super the humongous prize. Okay. Hmm. Memories seem to be different. Shit. Oh, we oh, we can do a one pull or we can do a a five pull with ten tokens. Okay, yeah, before we... Yeah, I, I know Sampo's here and everything, and I want to catch up with him and all, but... Yeah, I did want to pull in this gacha pawn first before anything else. But yeah, let's hope we get a... Uh, this light cone here, or... Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, it's it's a uh, portrait, a profile picture. Okay, but uh, yeah, let's let's go, go do a 10 pull, a 10 pull, a 5 pull here, and... Uh, hope to get the super humongous prize. Let's go! Come on, big money, big money. Grand big money, the humongous prize, baby. Ah, okay, super big prize. That's still good. Whee! <laughs> what I get? Open up. Uh, oh, I got some food and some condensed ether. Oh, wait, that's all my five rolls. Ah, oh, well done. Damn. Hold on, I want to play this on it some more. I want to get the, yeah, I want to get the, the the humongous prize from this. Come on, big money, big money, big money. <laughs> Sappo's just standing in the background, just like Trailblazer. What the fuck is going on? Ah, damn it, regular prize. Stop gambling and let me show you the wonders of, of adult life. Damn. Ah, only regular prize. That sucks. Uh, okay. Uh, give me a humongous prize. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Humongous prize. Humongo! Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, Sampo, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, ca catching up. Oh, so is this a way to adult experiences? Also, yeah, oh, yeah, these, uh, these balls, the pinball things. <laughs> Are we gonna launch ourselves across? Ah, car! Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Is that safe? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. I mean, I did just fall out of the sky while taking fall damage, so... Hell yeah! Lift off, my friend! 
Oh, uh, press select the select plate, expend energy to activate the plates, and close the plate to regain energy. Oh, that's a puzzle. When the plate is activated, you can set its rotation direction. Uh, you cannot reset any more. Or you cannot activate more plates if you don't have enough energy left. Press reset to reset all panels. Create a trajectory that connects the pinball launchers on both sides, activating uh, by activating, closing, or rotating the plates. When the, when the trajectory is completed, you can launch a pinball to reach a destination. When you exit the machine, the current plate setup will be saved. Okay. Uh. So I turn these. Rotate. Ah, okay, and then I gotta like turn each one on. There we go. Launch! <laughs> Don't shake yourself, huh? <laughs> Yippee, that was fun. Hang on, let me claim that achievement. <laughs> Help one origami bird return to the great tree. Uh, use the pinball machine for the first time. Nice. Is this the lower level of the commercial district? Yeah. Creepy sign, get away from me. Bingo. Our destination is right there. <laughs> Happy Pepeshi Salon. Happy Pepeshi Salon. What the f did Peppy make this? <laughs> Hold on, I want to eat more ice cream. I'm probably gonna pass out from this. <laughs> from, from eating so many of these. This is no ordinary salon. Oh yeah, this is where I encountered the like the dancing guy earlier. Are the Pepeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Sempo. <laughs> uh, Pepeshi bodyguard. <laughs> That's gotta be the fucking shortest bodyguard I've ever seen in my life. Here we are again, pal. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Uh, three. Three? Show me your VIP card. Uh... No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Yeah, do you even... I don't even have one. Do I? Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when... They've only just arrived. <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? <laughs> yeah, he's doing that fucking classic movement where he's just like fucking rubbing his fucking hands. No, I can't break the rules. Oh, well. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. What should we do? Forget it. What the heck is this? <laughs> What's in there? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Got it. He just kicks the fucking bodyguard shitless. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? Oh my god, pulling this trick, are we? <laughs> the moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt. And everlasting hatred. Uh... mention. Are these the code for something? Items to Miss Thunderbolt. Miss Thunderbolt? What a name. What are you talking about, clown? Just, just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Okay, you better. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. And he's back. Mm. Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. Broken dreams? So what? Do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, oh, that one. there's one at the salon. Okay, so we have to do these ones anyways. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Uh, okay. Emotion prototype, the mode of betrayal, cloud of doubt, everlasting hatred, and broken dreams. What are all these? Hmm. Is that okay. A Let's play Why a game, I guess. TV dumped on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. Huh. This ride machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, 
How about you try touching it and see what happens? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Could hurt, I guess. Why don't you try it yourself? This is a trap. Try it yourself, buddy. I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. <laughs> okay. Of course, it's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, I'll do it myself. The two almost synchronously turned their gaze towards you. Or more precisely, it was the three of them, including the guy with a trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. <laughs> you know it's time to make a choice, so do you want to take a chance and touch this television to see what intriguing events might unfold? Touch it, touch it, touch it, seems like I'm left with no options. <laughs> Alright. You take a deep breath and close your eyes, you muster your courage, and reach out to the suspicious screen in front of you. Okay. It's it's morphin time. Hadu. Oh. Uh, <laughs> ah. What the fuck? Is that me? The fucking little gremlin of sunglasses? Wait, what? Um. Why did you turn into this thing? I have no idea what happened. I think I've been sucked into the TV. Gosh, you guys are tall. <laughs> Let a grunt. That sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> you make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so, so cool. You look so... cool. <laughs> do, do I? You got swag now, pal. <laughs> so Thanks. how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Huh. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. Okay. You embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Uh, or you can I haven't watched this cartoon this though. I don't know what, what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, fine, what do I need to do? How do you know that? I'm not gonna take you- I'm not gonna take you on your ward again. Let out in front, that sounds cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna take you on your ward again. <laughs> I may never believe you again. You wanna reply to your old friends in rage, but with your current state, the best you can do is jump- is jumping up to strike his knees? <laughs> Additionally, your character design will not permit any action from you. Right now, you can only emit a cool grunt as a response. Fine, what, what do I need to do? How do you know that? Let out a grunt, that sounds cool. I'm guessing the rest of these just... You don't give any responses, so I'll say this. You make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you ever change back if you keep being this cool? Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. To start venting. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Clock Studios has designed an arcade game in Peter Cardio's dreamscape that lets guests play the cartoon character Car Hanu through the transform device and experience a miraculous adventure in the corner of a dreamscape. In the story of Hanu, uh, Hanu's adventures, he was made by smaller by boss. Oh, he was made smaller by boss of stone's strange devices. He then had to experience a grand adventure with a small body and take back the treasure the boss stone took from the town. A pair of wolf, uh, wolf-like sharp eyes are hidden under Hanu's sunglasses. Use this button to activate Hanu's vision to observe the tools that can be utilized and try to find hidden treasure. Okay. <laughs> Hi! You release a series of cool grunts, but they fail to draw the attention of the two some uh, from television to you. Looks like you have to turn back into how you were. Oh. Hang on, I want to. I want to hear what you guys say about me. Uh, you're back. I am. You didn't finish the game, did you? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to ask you to finish that game. I need those game rewards so I can let you two experience something fun. Can you do it yourself, please? Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, I guess it's just gotta be me then. Well, more for time. Ah, uh, and I still can't listen to you. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go in then. <laughs> Enter. Venting. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what am I playing right now? Oh, treasure. You won't be able to escape this time. Oh, yes. I, I thought it wouldn't let me claim it because I was like too small or some shit. Hell yes. 
Uh, find the boss stone's treasure. Okay. Can I? Damn it! I can't break shit. Balloons placed by oh. Oh, okay. I need to switch back to normal in order to break through these. Gotcha. Aha! Back to human form. Ba bum. Yo, I hate my mouth <laughs> revealing my secret. Can I break that to the wall? Maybe? No, I cannot. Well, <laughs> back to being a Hanu, I go. Whee! Okay, where else do I need to go? Oh, that flower up there is glowing. Oh! A yank. <laughs> it's so stuffy in here, Chirp. Are you here to save me? Cool, Lana Grunt, that sounds cool. You Lana a cool hoomph, so the girl, so the birdie tilts his head towards you. Chirp? Hmm. Chirp, 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 chirp. Hmm. You can't talk at a hall. Forget it. Thank you, Chirp, for leaving now. <laughs> bye bye. Come on, those birds look adorable. Okay, that flower up there has something I can use. Oh, rocket. Use the fantastic rockets built by the origami bird, Hanu, can quickly shift between the ends of different rockets to, to reach places otherwise inaccessible. Okay, so this is my teleport. Whoop. Whee! Okay, ooh, chest. Give it to me. Uh, what else is here? What else can I find? Okay, turn it back to the normal. And then I can get the chest there. Look. Also, I like this little, like, <laughs> music that's playing right now. Give me that chest. Nice. Uh, okay. So now I need to go through that in order to reach up there, I think. Right. <laughs> Back to being a Hanu. Okay, and then, uh, uh up here? Wee! Hey! Hey! That's a treasure! Give it to me! No crap! <laughs> my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people! Fine! All admit it! You've rescued Dreamville once again! That I have! But you just wait! I'll be back! <laughs> I'll be back! <laughs> After going all around, you find yourself at the entrance to the Boss Stone's maze. <laughs> That's kind of fun, actually. Ooh, and I got our five-star relic as well? Hang on, let me check this. Uh, I mean, I guess it's semi-decent, but I, it could have been better. Eh, just saying. Ooh, emotional prototype. Momentary freedom. Wait, is that a donut attached to a, a handcuff? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. And now it's time for me to turn back into normal. Uh, bloop. All right, I'm back. You're back. Are you all right? Uh, I'm all right. It's quite fun. Do you have anything to say, Sample? <laughs> Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. Is it? <laughs> you have learned it. <laughs> it's a donut attached to a handcuff. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like that's like a Simpsons reference or something with like a donut. <laughs> or maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe I'm just looking for too much into it, but now that what the hell? We need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Real fun, you say? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, we gotta go upwards. Oh, wait, back to the eye? Oh, this is what it means by going to a dream, right? The Dreamscape Sales Store. A Dr. Ebb at your service. <gasps> the trailblazer of the Astral Express. Just hi, it's me again. Here we are again. Uh-huh. I see you brought two friends with you. Well, there she lies. Hello, Edward. <laughs> Hello. I love, <laughs> I love the way he talks. <laughs> fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscapes? Oh, 
superb idea, sir. Oh, Let's wait. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. Okay, I guess I'm doing samples one now. Um, what's going on? Yeah, but like the explanation. This is a service we offer to our long time customers. Long time customers? You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. In motion prototypes. I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bundles that can be experienced repeatedly. Okay. Any dreams we, we want? What's so fun about this? Exactly. Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Oh. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Hmm. Allow me to use my dream uh -oh. as a demonstration. Wait, no. Is it going to be that trailer I trust we saw? There are the necessary materials. Please, have them on the Okay, uh, here we go. All this shit. I'm not sure why you want it, but here we go. Your donation is appreciated. Oh, donation. Okay. <laughs> The Don't tell me it's the one where Sample's like fighting trash cans. <laughs> close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Bubble. Yeah, is his a trash can shit gonna be Sample's dream? Jump on in, friend. Oh boy. I wish you a pleasant time. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's a dream veil I go. Ugh, where's this? Oh, we're back in uh, Bellabog. Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Uh, how did I end up here? Where's everyone? What should I do now? Oh, no need to be hasty now. Ah. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. What's with the audio right now? It feels like samples like spinning around my head or some shit. What the hell? Uh, yeah, we're in Natasha's clinic right now. Uh, what's here? Is this another note? Uh, samples advice become the garbage king. <laughs> Though the trash bags have long been broken. Oh my god. It is that trailer. What do you mean? I think I had this dream before too. This all feels so familiar. Oh. Uh. You know what they say? Great minds dream alike. Yeah, it's, it, in my headphones, it sounds like he's both in my right ear, but it, like he's like jumping between my left and right ear constantly. He, yeah, it's like he's spinning around my head or some shit. Stop nitpicking the details. Ah. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you say. I think I might be frightened, actually. Oh boy, what is going on outside? <laughs> oh boy. Oh fucking hell, this is where the trash can enemies come into play. <laughs> what? What is happening? What is happening? There's a bronze, silver trash and gold trash can? What's happening? Why are the trash cans everywhere? What the fuck? <laughs> What, the trash cats have their own language? <laughs> the shit? <laughs> what the fuck? What deal, what deal? Uh, Shatana? Are you related to Natasha? <laughs> that line of yours sounds eerily familiar. <laughs> Are you related to Natasha? Wait, that is Natasha's voice, but mixed up. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Catch off the garbage king. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I wonder how fucking uh, Natasha's voice actor felt when she received the script and it's just like, yes, just say gibberish, bro. Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? 
<laughs> if this is actual language, I'm so sorry if I am offending anybody, but this, yeah, this sounds like Sims language. Like, what the fuck? What? I'm not understanding a goddamn thing. <laughs> oh fuck, I really hate that the trash can have feet as well. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, are you saying you want me to rally you all together? He's speaking riddles. She's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, <laughs> trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Or something like that. Sampo, if this is what your dreams are like normally, I'm scared. I'm terrified to enter your dreams. <laughs> Do, what do I need to do? Deal? What deal? Well, I haven't agreed to anything. Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Oh, fine. Yes, accept it. <laughs> <laughs> if Wolf, one mission, pop the trash cans with the troubles and collect three proofs of trust. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is very Sims language sounding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. So am I. What the fuck? <laughs> I. Why do I feel like the whole the Hoya was like on an acid trip when this when they made this fucking quest? Like what the hell? What what am I experiencing right now? Okay, speak of <laughs> Shatana. Totally not Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you witness the future of my people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, the trash can people are just fucking dead. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking graphic. Holy shit! It's a trash can genocide! Is this where the final battle will take place? <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it. Oh this. god, don't tell me the engine of creation is also gonna be a giant Such fucking a trash can. <laughs> oh my god, so many of trash can kind has been massacred in this valley. Didn't they say the garbage king would wait for me here? Have I been set up? Uh, uh oh. Uh, what the fuck? Ah! Uh, Sampo? Ah! What are you doing? Oh shit! Put your thumbs up. Sampo, what are you doing? What are you doing to the trash people? What the fuck? Is Sampo the villain in this fucking dream? <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh my god, I've become a trash can! What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> what kind of nonsense is this? Holy shit, me and Sapper were about to have, to have epic fucking battle right there. What? A bummer. <laughs> I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. Wait, all the time you were the garbage king? You're the real garbage king? I'm usually finishing him off with one punch. It's really is a shame. <laughs> You're the real garbage king. Okay, that's an attack on Titan reference, I think. Yeah. Right, you kitty. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. Boo, I really wanted to beat Sampo up. <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. The truth? What truth? What kind of truth is there that fucking acid trip of a dream? <laughs> truth? What truth? Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. What are you trying to say? Is this weird? Are you trying to hint that some hidden meaning? <laughs> What truth? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Pentecost? How? 
No? How? What, are you saying all the people in it are trash? <laughs> what? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Okay. What in the dream world are you talking about? Sapo, just what are you up to exactly? A glowing light. Sapo, just what are you up to? Can you stop speaking in riddles, please? Same as always, pal. If you still don't get it. Just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? What the fuck? Firefly, where'd you go? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got <laughs> is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? Sus? You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not gonna let you off scot-free either. Could See you? See around, pal. Don't let okay. Me Sampo what is a Sampo Dusk, I guess. Is Firefly hiding something? Yo, I, can you tell me where, Sa where uh, Firefly yeah, went? Okay, you're... Wait, can I buy the Sampo Dream? Aw, oh, damn it, I thought I could. I thought I could buy the Sampo Dream. Yeah, <laughs> just experience that all over again. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Sampo, I'm, I'm frightened. If those are what your dreams are like, then maybe I never want to peer into your dreams ever again. Uh, Firefly, where are you? Whoa, nice. There you are. <sighs> the girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and uh, softly speaks. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have to apologize. I don't want to find you suspicious. I want to know the truth. Is that too much to ask? You feel guilty, don't you? Thank you. Hmm. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. Huh. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met Aww. people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. I really love that kind of life. It's not so great as you think. You can board the Astro Express too. Yes, become a new crew member. <sighs> can I bring you one more place? Oh. It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base, and I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure, I believe you. How am I supposed to believe you? I believe her. Thanks. Hmm, maybe I'm falling for a trap or something, but I guess we'll see. Is something oh. crying for help over there? Oh, it's a chest over there. Pull up. <laughs> Screw their help. I wanna. I want some money. Oh, never mind. Oh, what the fuck? Clocky, you're actually here? Someone's dying. Oh. Uh, what's going on? Are you asking for help? What kind of thing are you? Uh, sort of. Is there a problem? What? I, I I can see a clock of limbs. I'm just seeing things. Nothing is inconsequential. Can you really see me? Uh. Fit talk. Wonderful. This is awesome. There's still hope for Misha. Misha, what's happened to him? Oops. Uh, I haven't introduced myself. What the? F my name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacone. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda. Origami bird. Okay. Hamster ball night. I met all those except for Mr. Soda and Mr. Hamster Ball Home Night. Misha. Misha's in trouble. Tick tock. Help. Help. Clocky, can I help? Clocky, are you a cartoon character? A talk clock? I must be losing my mind. A clock that talks? 
clocky? I think I might have drinking a lot of too much so glad, guys. I think I might have drinking a, yeah, I think I'm drunk right now. That's all just a really, really bad uh drunk trip. Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Yes, I saw him. I'm not hallucinating. Can you see him? I'm not hallucinating, right? Tick tock! I'm really here! As the humble face of Penacony, I never ever brag. Um where is he? I I can't see him. He's right there? Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, <laughs> kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this here, and hey, come on now. He, he said only children could see him. He said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Nisha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He's, he's begging for my help. He says someone's life is in danger. Is it really that bad? Are you can help this, um, flocky that only you can see? Uh... I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock! Tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Okay, I guess I got no choice. <laughs> He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Dude, the bellboy? Anyway, <laughs> better check out what's going on. My god, Estelle, you're really forgetful, you know that? Hold up. I want to get this chest over here first. Money's more important than lives. Give me that. Okay. <laughs> now I'm ready to save. All right. Wait, they're dead already? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> Is he actually here? Oh, shit. Acheron. Looks like something really did happen. Uh, what? Wait, he just says his life is in danger. He doesn't look in danger to me. Unless, wait, are all those guys part of the the Bloodhound Clan? Wait. Everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules. Gangster and boss. Now, you're gonna have to pay the price. Oh shit, we got gangsters here. Punish. 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 Uh, I wouldn't mess with Akron if I were you. <sighs> How did it come to this? Is that- isn't that Misha? Isn't that Acheron? How come they're all people I know? <laughs> what do you mean by all? Uh, well, not the mob bosses, but the, the ones that don't look like NPCs. See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! <laughs> okay. TikTok, I'm begging you, my great friend! Begging you! Please help Misha! <laughs> why is there why is there a mob boss in the dream world? Please fill me out on what's going on first. What should I do to help him? My baseball can't wait to show its might. I'm afraid a baseball bat isn't an efficient weapon. No, no. <laughs> but what I mean is, we can't solve this problem with violence. <laughs> That's fine. I can use my flaming lance instead. Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. <laughs> of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Stones? Wasn't Aventurine talking about losing some stones? Hmm. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Huh. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety. <laughs> And disputes. <laughs> We're no longer a family. <laughs> I like his little like Mickey Mouse esque voice eh, for, for Clocky. It, it, it's really, really, really cartoony, and I like that. Yeah, there's like 32 chests in this in this map. It's honestly kind of insane. Like, yeah, then I need to like find them all. Like, jeez. I can't just sit back and do nothing by using the power of clockwork. I can direct the flow of all the Also, yeah, this music's a vibe, though. Back into people's <laughs> hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. My great friend, I require your assistance. 
I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. The power of clockwork. All, you're the special one who can see me. Also, okay. a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. Surprise! <laughs> the way you rolled that R. Uh, what is clockwork? Are you sure about this? Why don't you do this yourself? I can't pull it off on my own because they can't see me. Okay. So please, close your eyes. Okay. Talk. Now, uh. Our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? I think so. All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Into you. <laughs> is that all I need to do? Just give him good emotions? Okay. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. <laughs> We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock. Tick tock. Okay. Uh, clockwork power. Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Here comes the clockwork. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Use this, uh, use your clockwork to tune this person's emotional state. Finally, make your confirmation. Oh, I guess I'm changing him to happy. Ta-da! Make him happy. Gangster boss's emotion has been turned to happy. <laughs> really? I can't, I can't just change emotions just like that? <laughs> you did it! But how did he end up like this? I saw Dion and got it moving. I have no clue what I did. You sure pull it off? It must have been. It's rather out of character for him to start cracking up like that all of a sudden. It's just that... Seeing that gleeful smile on his face. <laughs> He's just as scary as he was before. Hello, everyone! Please uh. allow me to welcome <laughs> all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Oh, come on now, line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. <laughs> Boss, what the fuck? Uh, um, sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. sure, sure. <laughs> sure, sure, boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I, I didn't realize there's a dialogue option. Uh, thank you? It's only right to give guests a proper welcome. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> the gang members are so weirded out. Yeah. Seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Uh, I appreciate the gesture, but can we have some privacy, please? You're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. All right, bye bye. We meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? I, I guess I am. I don't know what kind of power I have, but yes, I have the, I have the blessings of Mickey Mouse on my side, or Clocky. <laughs> Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? Wait, can Misha see him? She's an esteemed guest who oh, shit. befriended recently. Told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's her. Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, <laughs> whew, I would have been in a real mess. Yeah, thanks for that. Otherwise, I would have to start spilling everybody's blood. <laughs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Yeah, so much for not seeing each other again. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. I'm surprised too. About all the commotion just now. I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the no. streets. No. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Yeah, I do find it kind of, kind of, kind of weird, though, that we can just strip change the emotions of any NPC we want. <laughs> That's just, like, just on the flip of a dime, just like that. Is this lady... I wonder if I get, yeah, would I have gotten different dialogue options if I'd chosen, like, like to, to make him sad or make him calm or whatever? Yeah, I'm assuming you get different dialogue options based on the emotion you choose. Well, we've only met each other once before, but she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. Well, it's more like you helped me, honestly. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Damn, everybody just calls each other beautiful in this place, apparently. <laughs> 
beautiful lady. <laughs> By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. Uh, I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? I guess the jolly spirit just just got to him. Clocky talked me some clockwork. Talk therapy, you said on him. It's only natural for people to get intimidated by my baseball bat. What are you talking about? <laughs> it wasn't a baseball bat. It was clockwork. I also love Clocky's like little emotions as well. <laughs> like he he starts ringing when he gets triggered and everything. I don't think it's that simple. Could it have something to do with that uh, clocky that only you can see? Clocky? Yes, uh, that cartoon. Yeah. Cartoon. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <laughs> Maybe Marsh can see him too. Who knows? <sighs> Yeah, I'm not making. I'm not making. I'm, blah, blah, I'm not making this up, by the way. <laughs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. <laughs> if Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh? Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. You're more attuned to it than I am. I thought mm. your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. The elegant memo keeper? Who are you talking about? Shortly after we parted ways, I met a lady wearing oh. a black veil who is also a guest at the hotel. Ah, Swan. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Yeah, huh? Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Ah. Doesn't she sound very much like that flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your yeah. <laughs> date. Yes, it's a date. No, we're not on a date. What are you talking about? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really Thanks, Clocky, for the power. I'm still a bit suspicious of you, though. Bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope oh. that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Oh, me can visit my express now. Okay. Hey, clockwork emo tuning. Now you know how to use clockwork. Go and try and change someone's emotions. Different emotions bring different surprises. You can use clockwork on anyone with a clocky mark on their heads when you get the chance. Make sure to try it out as much as you need. Hmm. Oh, and I get Misha as, my, as a sticker as well. Also, Sorry. hey, sweet! I'm afraid we need Treasure. a pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. Alright, getting in. Uh, okay, gotta turn that one on. Then turn this one on. And rotate. There we go. Whee! The secret stronghold is a cafe. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is your secret stronghold? Also, I see a birdie over there, and also a few chests, and also a, a downed uh, clock over here. Hold up. <laughs> sorry, but uh, sorry, uh, uh, Firefly, but um, this is more important. Okay, hold on. Uh, you, you, there's a bunch of stuff to do here, so here I'll do that are. first. This is the place. This place looks mighty fine. Is this your secret stronghold? Doesn't look so secret to me. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Oh. Oh shit! We teenage mutant ninja turtles in here. <laughs> what a beautiful manhole cover. Is this your secret stronghold? What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes. It's right inside. Inside? What does that mean? You want me to crawl in there? 
This is embarrassing. People are watching us. It doesn't matter. Anything can happen in a dream. And there are lots of people falling from the sky every day. The pedestrians... Oh, really? I thought it was just me. Anything. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Okay. Huh? Also, why does the... Yeah, why does the thing look like a... Oh, sparkle! Hey, let me ask you something. Oh, uh, but me? Me? As in me, the player? Because he should... Yeah, she's looking right at the camera. What the heck? <laughs> also, yeah, I was going to say, like... Yeah, why do the manhole covers look like sardine-like covers? But, hey, I didn't, <laughs> didn't expect to see sparkle this early. What the heck? <laughs> Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? Uh... You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. I, I swear, I'm innocent, I swear! Oh wait, to not be me. To more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Hmm. <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Beautiful Are eyes. You from Sigonia? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure my definition of beautiful is the same as yours, uh, Sparkle. Yeah, also, yeah, Venturine's here, so... Eh, immediate red flags. <laughs> Hello, knockoff Hu Tao. <laughs> he really does look like a Hu Tao, like if you, like, yeah, look at the two side by side. Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. I'm a... Avgen honey? What, I'm a honey? <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> my eyes might not as pretty as yours but there's no problem with my vision you Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe liars thieves social manipulators wolves in sheep's clothing hmm. you're really living up to the reputation also yeah she, she has like butterfly eyes like just like Utao's as well man I yeah I really do like Sparkle's design though especially the like little kitsune mask like she has like on her head that's super cool i say you belong to the space under the manhole cover uh please don't go, go in the manhole cover there's one right over there off you go no 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 please don't go down there no no i'll pass the gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe dreamville is frivolous vain and flashy and that suits me just fine Mm. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. I'll be sure. <laughs> How much did that boob window cost? Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Oh yeah, right. Sparkle's a mass fool, right? I mean, yeah, she has a mask, so duh. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Panacone? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. Hmm. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy? What? Oh. Sunday? How did you do it, little peacock? Oh, did you strip <laughs> yourself? <laughs> what? Apologize to him on your knees and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Hey, yo. <laughs> I want to see a Vendry strip naked. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. Mm. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Hmm. Here's a hint for you. 
since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long. Sparkles are savage, I see. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <laughs> oh god, like those eyes just spell like yeah, then anger just boiling boiling deep inside. <sighs> he just turns around the other way and just, just screams. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. What is this family up to? Why yeah, why are they inviting like pretty much every faction in the freaking universe here? What is the goal? What the? Wait, this is where the sewer leads? Huh. Oh, what the? We, 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 we came out of that? <laughs> how? <laughs> how do we climb up the vent? How do we in, How do we even end up? Oh, wait, wait, I'm not going to question it. <laughs> also, there's lots of people here. We're almost there. Whoa, hey, where are we? Wait. Oh, no, this is a different place. Dream's Edge. Ooh. This place is breathtaking, isn't it? No, you're breathtaking. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Oh, sure, say that out loud, why don't you? Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous, just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Oh, we get to sneak inside now, all right. Ooh, disc, sweet. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. there's enemies on the map. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh. there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat, we're caught right away. Quick, let's beat the shit out of him. Can you let us through just this time? Fine, we'll head back. <laughs> Pretty please. Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. Dream weavers are allowed here, okay. We won't budge. We know Gallagher. Here's some credits for you, please. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> exactly the shit I said. Pretty, please. People ask for favors every day. Am I supposed to just say yes to all of them? Yes. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy. Oh. This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Ah, let's manipulate their emotions. Oh yeah, there are enemies this way. Wait, I can just I slip can past them. Penetrating gaze. Let's turn around. Okay, <laughs> he won't just let me walk past him. Okay, let's. Are going to work. Please do your nah, I think my trick will work here. The composed man before you appears impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him a little bit. Okay, I'm guessing that's a hint to make him angry. I want to see though. I I want to see the other emotions, honestly. <laughs> yeah, let's make him sad. Bloodhound family members' emotion has been turned to sad. Ah. Uh. Honored guests, <laughs> welcome to Penacony. <laughs> oh no, I made him depressed. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. <laughs> and my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. <laughs> He's Even about to cry. It's more important than me. Well, don't tell yourself sure. Well, your luck, for I am the danger. <laughs> Fucking. This game just loves referencing Breaking Bad, doesn't it? <laughs> but trash cans are important. I like them. <laughs> I am the danger. Please refrain from that. I know I won't be able to overcome you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this. Fun and exciting dreams game instead of <laughs> talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. <laughs> I, I legitimately feel bad now. Well, can you let us through? Well, please stop blocking our way. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry for blocking your way, but there's little dignity left in me. 
So please be nice and don't trample on it. <laughs> I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. <laughs> After all, I have nothing left to lose. I feel really bad. <laughs> so do I, but we need to get through, don't we? The man mentioned die, uh, mentioned die trying. It might be worth to give him what he wanted. That is, if you can live with it. Try reading his inner thoughts again. Okay, <laughs> not the correct one. Uh, yeah, they said to provoke him, so I'm guessing angry is the right answer. Let's make him super happy and see what he says. Ta -da! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my! Uh, oh my! Oh my! Oh my! I oh shit! I, I I didn't. Uh, okay, buddy, what's gone into you? I didn't know there's a dialogue option there. I'm on cloud nine. Ooh, can you feel it? Is this is wild? It feels <laughs> like I just. You, you were not just cr you were just crying just like ten seconds ago. Spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song Mia? together. We're getting oh, we're getting Lord to the Bloodhound. I, I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. <laughs> oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with um, me. Right here, right now. No, thank you. Will you let us in if I after I dance with you? I have to say no. <laughs> Will you let us in? Oh, no way. Rules are rules. Damn it. I thought that would work. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. This crazy mood and this <laughs> pounding heart are just what I need. I, I wish, I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. He really is a man of principle. You're telling me. <laughs> now, this man has become content but remains impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Make him angry. There we go. Here's the correct one. I just, yeah, I just wanted to see what the other ones would uh, give me. And yeah, it was totally worth it. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. <laughs> do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Come on, let's fight. That's not what I mean. Come on, bring it on. You're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and oh, God. energetic. <laughs> you idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. <laughs> you should go kitten yourself now. <laughs> Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop. Teach them a lesson. Oh, well, it ends up in a fight anyways. Well, what the fuck? What happened, what happened to my screen there? The hell? <laughs> okay, but yeah, let's go and beat up these guys. Uh, oh, right, yeah, don't make this guy angry. Man, I, lo I love the freaking battle team in this. It's so, so good. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the boost. Oh, the boost are energy. That's cool. All right, now I have to make him angry again. And awaken. Okay, thank God DLTs don't like switch his uh, personality. What do you want to know? Uh, oh, but them exploding does. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> okay, then, uh, happy Stand again. Still. Oh shit, never mind. Uh, I forgot about Kafka's thing. Well, at least you're dead now. Never let Time to say bye. Boom. Yep, <laughs> it's time to bring out the good old Lance out. <laughs> I, I, don't, I honestly feel kind of bad for this guy, oh, for like. I can't believe I've lost! Uh, is this... <laughs> is this the power of youth? This is the power of youth. <laughs> yeah, I honestly feel bad for this guy for like manipulating his emotions so much. I, I honestly do feel bad. If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? <sighs> Who's this Mia he keeps talking about? <sighs> Alright. Uh, you can go in. As the winner, you, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. I mean, yeah, I guess so. We'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. Yeah, it definitely seems like it could be uh, bad in the wrong hands. Let's hope Clocky doesn't get that power to anybody else. All right. 
you can go. All right. Uh, fare thee well, Thank Bloodhound you. family member, and sorry for making you cry. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're even closer to Theorda now. That's the Penacone Grand Theater over there. Holy shit. At least somebody actually gets to go inside of it. You wouldn't. Yeah, let's it have a look, see. Dazzling light perpetually. Just like this glamorous dream. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. Like countless fireflies chasing the fire. <laughs> is that why your name is Firefly? Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. Finally. There won't be too many hindrances after this. Uh, I hope so. Well, you just had no more hindrances and then I see a freaking chef dinosaur over there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um... This area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. Yeah, it certainly does seem like it. I don't think we can get around them. Knocking them out is the only way to go. I'm ready. At long last, this baseball bat of mine has, has found a purpose. Let's get rid of them. What do you mean, let's? You're not a playable character yet. And it's just all me who has it right now. A quick and then, uh, Nuffy, go again. Do the honors, please. There we go. <laughs> the fucking sound it make <laughs> would it die? This is the place. All right, finally here after hours of an and, and almost hours of puzzles. Hold up, nothing found the chest. Someone's singing. Oh. Where is the sound coming from? Oh, I just noticed it's like, yeah, there's like like a, like a piano playing now. Also, I don't hear singing still. I'm not sure where you're on. Wow. Damn, look at the view from here. <laughs> look at all the puzzles we did along the way. Oh, yeah, and also the sunset as well. Oh, give me a good shot of this place. Oh, yeah, that, that looks... Yeah, well, that's a shit right there. Have you heard of this song? It's called, If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking. Oh. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest oh, is place to the sky in the dreamscape. Whoa! Far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. Ooh, I want to turn the view. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn the music up here. Hold up. Oh, this is beautiful, actually. Yeah, hang on. Let's just take a moment to sit here and listen to music. Wow, I'm actually getting goosebumps right now. This, wow, what is this song? How beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Screenshot time. Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador. The Astral Express Nameless. And me. This is so fucking beautiful. Oh my god. <gasps> oh yeah, that's another song to the Spotify playlist. That's the shit right there. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you heard of the <laughs> have you heard the Hoyo Mix soundtrack? Oh my god. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our Different agendas. Yeah, especially with that fucking shot of like the 
comments, I guess, going across the sky. Ooh, so good. It's like an anime. <laughs> like, honestly, it's, yeah, honestly, like an anime. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I know. I never saw that coming. I know. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. It was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like... many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone. Including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis. Oh my Some God. have a dream called Penaconi, but... Some have dreams... Sorry. <laughs> ...that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. Sorry again. <laughs> Sorry, these shots are too beautiful. I have to take screenshots of them. Oh my goodness, and the music as well. So, so good. Is this, is this Robin's actual VA singing this song? Oh my goodness. And it's likewise for me. Oh, thumbnail material. I I want to but also so library material. Oh, so good. But I can't. So I wanna give it a shot here. I want yeah, <laughs> you're right, Josh. I want a like a freaking wallpaper. Uh, like yeah, a 3D wallpaper of this of this scene. It's so so good. I know the feel. What's your wish? You can't run from reality. What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. Oh. And the process is barely noticeable to others. Ugh. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll... And then... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to... Even slower than that. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. You can still run... Jump and talk as usual. Shit. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. Hmm. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. Oh, oh, she's talking about herself in reality. Yeah. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen, and see, and touch, and think, and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. Aww. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. 
Can I can I give her a hug? <laughs> I, I I yeah, still G give give the poor girl a hug, please. I am for both me and her. In fact, after the watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least I really hope things don't turn out that way. I hope so too. I can't make a promise. I kept putting my trust in someone who hides things from me. Who exactly are you? Hmm. I hope so too. I'll say I hope so too. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? Someone talked about that earlier, right? Oh, wait, it was Himiko, right? Why does life slumber? Also, this is a beautiful looking shot. Let me take it. Yeah, let me take that as well. God, this scene's so beautiful. Everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Yeah, Fireflies VA really sells this scene so, so well. Oh my god, her voice actor does such a good job. Can someone, like, let me know Fireflies VA's name? I would like to, like, check out, of, like, more of their roles. Why do people choose to sleep? I think... It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. Hmm. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Pop on will cool us down with the water from a spray can. Don Hook would tell us dry jokes of a deadpan expression. Um, would he? Himiko would make coffee for us. Mr. Yang would try to change the subject. Marge would force us to take a selfie with her. I feel like she'd be good friends of Marge. Yeah, let's let's bring up Marge. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Try all March last. Oh shoot, was there... Ah shit, I guess I missed on dialogue then. Uh, sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. The girl has you the phone, her eyes full of expectation. Oh my god, the music. You take the phone, launch camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. And extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring that both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One. Two. Two. Three. Say cheese. Aww, that's... That's so wholesome. That was a screenshot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was a really, really beautiful scene. Oh, <laughs> speaking of my friends. Are we having fun? Lots of fun, sure. But something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. Well, we are in a dream after all. I saw a guy wearing a plaster... Head sculpture at the auction. He walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best we meet a face to face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. Oh, well, it seems like uh, <laughs> after that beautiful scene, we're going to have to go back to cold hard reality. Man, yeah, that scene was so, so beautiful, but I also can't help but feel like her death flags have just shot up immensely. Uh, 
Oh god, Hoyo, don't do what I think you're gonna do, please. <laughs> please. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. Oh my god, the, 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 the shooting stars just stay there? Oh, it's like... Wow, it's like daytime on like this side and like nighttime on the other side. That's kind of cool. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on, let's say goodbye at Golden Hour. Man. If I can stop... Oh, you can actually play that in the car. Uh, I might actually put that like on now. Damn, that's really, really beautiful. Holy shit. Is there a teleport here? Because maybe I want to like... Oh wait, there's a boss here. Oh. I'm guessing for Misha's materials. Yeah, I definitely want to come back here and like take screenshots sometime. Martio... Martio... <laughs> March hasn't ra met Ratio yet. Oh, wh were they talking about Ratio? I, I, I was assuming they were talking about like the other like... Robots, like robots around with like plaster heads as well. Also, while we're here, I gotta thank you guys and... Yeah, thank you guys so much because... Like over this like past month... We gained like 300 subscribers within the span of like, like, yeah, three weeks. And that's just insane to me. Thank you guys so much for like, yeah, sticking around the, sticking around the channel and whatnot. And um, thanks for all your like likes and subscribes and whatnot. It really does help with the channel. <laughs> and yeah, while you're at it, be sure you subscribe as well and uh, like the stream if you're if you enjoying it so far. Because yeah, it definitely does help me out. Okay, but yeah, let's return to reality at long last. <laughs> I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. The scene was amazing, but it only gets better from there. Where oh, I really hope it going? does. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, there's no NPCs around. What? There's not even cars driving anymore. Also, there's a bird stuck in this thing. But not the lamppost. Okay, not the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Deja vu. Wait, that's how you get the happy gear? <laughs> from a, from observing a trash can. Okay. All right, get out of there, Birdie. So why would there be treasure in a trash can? Trash stuff is treasure. All right, bye, Birdie. Yeah, what the heck? The, the entire place is deserted. It's just me now. What the fuck? Uh, why is there a bell? Is it time for me to wake up? Yeah, this is creepy. Why is there nobody about no more? Oh, Sampo! Are, what? Are you here to take me back to reality? Uh, yes, yeah, Sampo? Uh, you wanna... Hey, get away from me! You wanna explain something, buddy? <sighs> Sampo, is that guy up to no good again? <laughs> when is he up to any good? We meet again, my dear. <laughs> Hello, my dear Sampo. You want to explain where everybody else has gone? Did you kill them all? It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Hmm. You're just so blind. Hey, come on, Sampo. She's really nice once you get to know her. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Hmm. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? You talk too much. Oh boy, oh, Firefly getting aggressive I now. I love your attitude, my dear. <laughs> my dear. Different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? Mm -hmm. And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world, I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well. It was my problem for trusting him. Him? I'm really, really disappointed in you. Oh boy. Oh, cutscene. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um, excuse me. 
Wait. Why don't you rest for a little while? No, you're not actually Sampo. Inside the real dreamscape. Fuck. Wait, was the Sampo here the whole time? Oh. Actually Sparkle? Ah, don't put your hand on me, woman. Shit, so... That wasn't the real Sampo this whole time. <sighs> this... What? what is this place? I legit thought... Okay. Did not see that coming. What? I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. The happy and wholesome part of the story begins. Oh, God. Um, Himiko, I I'm in a bit of trouble. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's be in my room. Uh, I've run into a little trouble. Uh-oh. Oh no. That's not good. Can't get in touch with. Ah, uh, shoot. Yo, okay, this Mikhail freaking guy. Who, who is he? Also, sticker. This is too weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course you got Sparkle as soon as she fucking knocks us out. What's this? Why are all these, like, melted clocks here? The dial the counter stirred into life. Its needle starting to spin quickly as about to take you to a distant moment in the past. Why? Why has it come to this? Uh, calm down. It's just... Uh, it's just me left now. I have to complete the instructions he left behind. I have to do it. But how do I do it? How can I possibly complete it? <sighs> Is there no one who can help me? Oh, okay. I didn't expect to get a sticker from that. And the side gear. Hell yeah. Oh, we're in a child's dream. Okay. Another new area. Oh, God. The workshop. Huh. Speak of Firefly. Hang on, I'm at that chest. Destiny is a pain. Uh, yeah. What the heck? Are we stuck here? Whoa, this music. Let evaluation begin. Okay, this is a bit more intense. Stand still. A quick divination. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, this Okay, this music's also a vibe. I want, to, I want to listen to more of that battle theme. Okay, now we get into more fights here. Also, Spark, did you beat the fuck out of these guys? Why are they dead? Huh. So you're really here too? What happened? Where is this? Don't tell me we're dead. I don't know. In any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. No. Nah. Suffocating. Silent. Uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? Yeah. This kind of place would never exist on Pentacone under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Maybe? No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said the real dreamscape this is a real dreamscape this is a family secret he's not my friend <laughs> okay let's not get into that now this is a family secret i'm not sure everything happened so quickly but regardless the family must be hiding something something about the truth of the dreamscape and you probably noticed it when you woke up as well. The ticking of clocks all around us. <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has melded to Pentacone's dream. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Hmm. Yeah, have we got like transported into a nightmare instead of a dream? Is that what's going on? Okay, whoa. 
Hmm. Make yeah, who whose voices are these? Are these the voices of like Mikhail? The Mikhail guy and somebody else? Dead end here too. Hmm. Given the layout of the room, are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? I mean I did so in my dream. Obtain bubble charge. Approach a bubble tower and interact with it to obtain bubble charges. Oh, okay, then. While carrying a bubble charge near dispersed bubble, you can use bubble converge to construct a bubble bridge that can be traversed. Bubble bridges have two forms, concave corner and protruding corner. Okay. Up the wall we get. I can't believe that worked. Oh, and there's enemies here too. The dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. Ah, get away from me! What the heck are you? I think it's Misha, not sure. I, I guess it sounds like him. Okay, this guy's new. Memory zoned meme heartbreaker. What the heck are you? Damage taken or damage taken decreases. This fact is removed when weakness is broken. This unit's action will be delayed further when this weakness is broken. Takes increased damage. Uh, okay. Ill tidings manifest. May as well kill so you just all. shave off a shield on until I break it. Oh, easy, okay, that was easy. Stand still. Didn't seem that big of a threat. My theory is that Mikhail is this watchmaker and Misha is the grandfather he talks about. Hmm. I guess I'll have to see that if that theory is true or true or not. And Mikhail. back on solid ground again. Who is this Mikhail? Honestly, hearing all the voices repeat the word reminds me of... Yeah, the Vache stuff in Fontaine. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of as well. Okay, what else is here? Something tells me they're not playing hide and seek anymore. All right, big wish. gorilla man. I haven't fought you before, but I I think I can beat you. Bring it on. Okay, yeah, I gotta learn what you're all about. Ow! She could be re rebound by ability. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at what you're all about. Also, yeah, new battle theme. Ooh! Okay, I'm vibing with this. Oh my god, this is this feels like I'm at the club right now. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> if I had a face cam, you guys would just see me just jamming out. This music, though, this theme goes hard. Yeah, you, you weren't lying. Are. Holy Beneath shit. The waters <laughs> lies an endless abyss. Oh, yeah, I should probably use this as well. Hang on, I, yeah, I want to beat this guy, but I don't want to kill him too quickly, you know? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Yeah, let's just get rid of the, the dogs down there at the very least. <laughs> Relax. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, bum, bum. Oh my god. That is a fucking certified banger. Holy shit. <laughs> All for this monkey that's throwing wine at me. What do you want to know? Okay, his bottles are. Ch oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Wait, what's that mean? Uh. Can I see what you're doing? Toughness protection. Can Okay, toughness can be reduced. That's. Okay, that's uh -huh. simple enough, but. Uh oh. Um, you maybe want to heal real quick. Okay, All that didn't hurt too bad. Yeah, the fucking sacks as well. So, so good. Oh my god, yeah, the fucking. Oh, that, that's some good shit right there. Stand still. The market is under Victory. Yeah, I know I can learn their abilities by clicking on them, but I prefer to learn through uh, just actually seeing what they can do. Oh, jeez, 100k damage <laughs> just from the DOTs. Destiny isn't true. Ill fate descends. Oh my God, I'm just fucking vibing right now. This is a really, really good banger. Holy shit! Oh God, and he's about to kill me. 
Uh, go down, please. Relax. Good time. Off, if you will. Time to say bye. Boom. Okay, good. Ooh. Ba da bum 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 ba da. Oh my. So so good. Oh my god. And here I thought I heard the best music in the game just now. The, yeah, Pet Valley just keeps getting better and better. Holy shit. Honestly, yeah, this might be like the best story in Star Rail so far. Overwhelming. Also, yeah, what's with the giant fountain? The exit is on the other side? How are we going to cross over? Hey, it's okay, Firefly. I'm I'm well adept to puzzles. At least I think I am. Okay, uh okay, then I use some bridge to go back upwards, and I'm freaking dizzy. This is really a sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? Hmm. And who is this Mikhail? Uh, it's kind of scary. There's a, there's a sadness to this. Mikhail, why have I heard this name? It's like I can feel emotions contained within them. Confusion, fear, sadness, and, and others so faint I can barely feel them. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. In the face of death, you say? Eh. <laughs> Please don't say that. Hmm. Yeah, try. Okay. Uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's all I can really say as of right now. Ooh, chest. Oh, chest. Oh boy, don't know. go. Feels that doesn't. Uh, that doesn't ex exactly uh, <laughs> so, sit right with me. But we made it. Hey, what I tell you? I'm smart. So Sometimes. The family insists that the dreamscape is absolutely safe. Oh, here's where the red birds There's are. Nothing but a jigsaw puzzle here. Poor veteran. Everyone in the story so rude to him. Honestly, judging by the way he acts, I don't blame them. <laughs> he acts so, so sus. I find it hard to trust him sometimes. <gasps> hey, there the we go. The has vanished. <laughs> Feels like we're reaching the end, right? Oh god, don't say that. <laughs> don't, do not raise your deflexity higher, please. Uh, oh shit. It's this hallway. Oh god, and the lights. <gasps> no! Let me... Oh wait, I can open the door. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, but the lights just dimmed out. Uh-oh. What is about to happen? Oh, a chest. Uh, just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. <laughs> Should we open it? Uh, well, I have two more left, so... I cannot need to. Uh... Just in case, though. Someone's treasure. Uh oh. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's so creepy. What the fuck? But since there are so many doors here, we should be able to leave through one of them. Ah! Uh, I hate this distorted music. Um. Oh fuck. Uh. Uh, what's through door number one? Uh, huh? Oh, oh, I'm back. Oh, oh, fuck. What the? Room? What are these TVs? No! Oh, no! shit. Uh, I don't like this. Um, what's behind door number two? Uh, we're also back. This again. Nah. <laughs> Could it be? Mikhail, do not open the box. Uh oh, don't open the box. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the goddamn box? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I, I don't no. like this chat. I. Which one was the original door? Can I go back?
This is- oh, this just turned into a fucking horror. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Ah, no, it's not letting me out! Oh. The TVs are so bright! Ah. It's hurting my eyes! Help me! Careful! What the shit is happening? Uh-oh. Whoa. Who the fuck? What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh fuck! Oh wait, it's that fucking death what dragon. Is this monster. Memory zone means something onto death. Uh oh. How? Such an elusive again. Shit. Oh fuck! It's a boss. Oh god. Uh, no mercy then. The silent waters lies an endless abyss. Get away from me, death! <laughs> Market is unpredictable. Oh, right. Also, Investing I forgot to speed things up. Me Actually, no, I'll put it slow mo when he attacks because I want to see what he's all about. <laughs> <laughs> this guy creeps me out, though. <laughs> Quick, put the Pokemon shield up. I see through you. Converge and awaken. Yeah, I want to slow it down for his attacks. Oh god, this music though. Oh yeah, it just got creepy. Entering oh, sunset. Like Wait, what the heck does that mean? Here, all yours. What does entering sunset mean? Uh, I don't like the sound Good of this. And gain two stacks of sunset. What? Time to say Oh goodbye. shit! Am I making this thing stronger? Boom. Shit. Oh, oh no, Kafka! Wait, what, what What? did that say? Use DLTs to... What? Oh, shit. Oh, does... Oh, oh, I need to free... Oh, I need, yeah, I need to free Kafka. Still no repayment of this monster. All these creatures... Shit. Are they the secret the family is hiding? It, the HSR team is really good at creating cosmic horrors beyond human comprehension. Yeah, holy shit. Like, yeah, this thing's fucking terrifying. My god, look, like, all the eyes. Like, it's cool, but... Ugh. Also gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, all things in this okay, world I have to hit that thing to break, break her free. Strategies, constellations, our human creations. Give me back my Kafka! Uh, using DLTs can quickly destroy... Oh, so you want to use DLTs on these things, okay. The of ill fate descends. Okay, there we go. Welcome back, Kafka. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Yeah, this music though. Uh, it's so creepy. I, I both love it and and hate it. Yeah, it's like so intense and everything. And also, my topaz is about to die. Ow. Uh. Nah, I think we have to kill it. If, if, if killing it's even possible. Damn, I can't even break him right now. Fading Radiance? Oh god. Okay, so I'm guessing Sunset is the attack where he kills, quote unquote, one of my characters. You know, what the heck is this music? Uh, and, and the eyes are going red some more. Uh oh. Easy, Easy. Uh, nope. I don't want any part of that. Oh shit! Wait, what happened to my characters? Uh oh. Worry disillusion. Oh shit! No! What the fuck is this thing? No, 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 no! Don't you dare! No, not Firefly. Wait. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> if you don't know, yes. Me, you might never return from the shadow of death. <laughs> the woman at last. 
<laughs> oh fuck, he's still alive, really? Hey, how topical, you're in my party, Black Swan. <laughs> you are? But, but you're also dead. Girl, I'm on your side. You can call me the memo keeper. Black Swan. Oh shit, Black Swan will assist allies in battle. Press to use Ethedral Cradle, okay. Okay, that did really do a lot of damage. Uh, I need to free my guys though. Oh, nice. Okay, so, so your Karna sacks. Okay, counts as damage. Uh, actually, yeah, do this. And free my guys. Kukia, give me back my girls. And fuck you. Memories are I just realized I have like two different like arcana stacks on him. That's right now. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Nice. Oh god. Okay, yeah, now now I think I'll just put the battle in, in speed mode right now. Yeah shit, this guy's Good fucking time. terrifying. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Relax. Nice. Please, please kill him. Ow. Oh, Knight has fallen. Two characters will act on their own initiative. Wait. Oh fuck. Does that mean if I do anything they'll they'll die? Uh the market is unprotected. Right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Um I have no choice, do I? The Omnisia sees through you. Uh shit. Oh fuck, does that mean I'll lose my Fushuan if I do this? Information in accordance. Oh no. Oh, good. Ar Arcana killed him. Whew, the pursuit of sweetness. See you next time. Fare thee well, foul demon. Hurry. Whoa. Oh. Hang on, I wanna know more about you. Okay. <laughs> That was a fucking awesome boss sequence, so holy shit, that was intense. <laughs> You're awake, lazy bug. Hello, like you my savior. Nice dream. Wait. Oh. Oh, we're back in reality. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> wait, what about Firefly though? Is she okay? <laughs> holy shit, yeah, that whole sequence was fucking awesome. It was creepy, and yeah, it just... Oh my god, the, the words can't describe how good that scene was. It was so creepy, but it was like the right amount of creepy, you know what I mean? Holy shit. And hi, yeah, finally we, we get to meet you. I'm surprised we met uh, Sparkle first before we met Black Swan, honestly. Holy shit. Yeah, the, the fucking build up to it was so, so insane as well. My goodness, it, it, this panic on is so, so good so far. It's so, so good. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's actually talk to Black Swan here before I gush on about uh that scene Whew. how was it did you dream of me yes in more ways than one did you save us am i alive are we in heaven or welcome to reality Ooh. more specifically the reverie oh. the safest and most familiar place you can be never have i been <laughs> more glad to be back in reality I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits, and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. You're the Garden of Recollections Memo Keeper. What is primar- What's the primal dreamscape? Firefly, that you may get out. I'm, co I'm concerned about Firefly. <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death started to tug a little at my heartstrings even i know you've many questions so please compose yourself Ooh. before that you should let your friends know you're safe right let me text them obtain return of none and i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that <laughs> assemble the crew oh boy hey miko welt Aww, march ha i miss you really just be a oh i forgot don hung wasn't here I've got a funny feeling about that lady. But she did find and save her too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. Oh wait, has he met already? That memo keeper obviously came here with an agenda. 
We should remain vigilant. Oh yeah, just just some fucking just that whole sequence was like so so well directed. It was all like almost like a movie sequence. Like man, even I felt the fucking pressure from that. It was yeah, it was so so well executed. <laughs> Yay! Everybody got a happy ending. Or except maybe uh, let's not jinx ourselves just yet, shall we? <laughs> Hi guys. Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. Ah, uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We what? We were worried sick. But you, wait, I, I could be found in reality either. I wasn't just chilling in my, in my bathtub. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. You know each other? So you're Himiko's friend. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. Uh. <laughs> not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Um, some guy disguised as Sampo, oh, some girl disguised as Sampo kind of uh, tricked me. So, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, uh -huh. adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Into Sampo of all people. Not sure why him, but I guess maybe it's because he's also masterful, but yeah, I'm not sure why him specifically. Her name is Sparkle. Uh -huh. A masked fool who has infiltrated Panacone. Don't worry. She won't <laughs> be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. <laughs> Good job, me. Good job, me, for sending those two into a situation they will probably die. Also, <laughs> I know she's meant to be like maybe like an enemy and all, but I, it's hard to take her seriously when her name is freaking Sparkle. I prefer her Japanese name where she's called Hanabi or something, right? Yeah, I'll call her Spark for the meantime, but I vastly prefer Hanabi. It seems you know her well. Are you two rivals? Of course. I know everyone here. Oh. On Penacone, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. Mm. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Panacone itself. Holy shit, Vanthang! Welcome. Thanks for the donation, my guy. Holy shit. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure what currency that's in, but yeah, thanks for the donation, man. Holy shit. Yeah, I prefer the name Hanabi much, much more as compared to Sparkle. Not sure where they went with that naming, but. Hey, we got a we got a character named Doctor Ratio. I don't think anything's like off limits at this point. Uh, Miss Parker's trick is okay. Penicone itself. Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means, and the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, ah. enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. Yo, I wonder why they call memory zone memes. Meme as in mematic en entity. Okay, that's yeah, that's what it means. But <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> just the fact they're called memes just kind of makes them a bit hard to take more seriously, you know? <laughs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Um, clocks fish the deep sea. Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror, I came to a long hallway. Wait, you too? The... Gallery of Thoughts. Oh. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Gallery of Thoughts. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penicone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. 
Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Why? Why is that? What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. It's been taken over? Panacone's dream is sinking right now. Oh. Turning back to its original form and falling into the deep sea. Its original form? It's sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Oh. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would... It would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death <laughs> and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously when she says meme. <laughs> Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase that. Mm. This is my personal request. Not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. An exchange? Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. <laughs> I am a memo keeper and a collector. These, in these fucking camera I angles, I swear to God. To experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. Oh, yeah, 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 right. The, the trailer where, yeah, she saw the Duke, yeah, the Duke Infernal Flame, and then it just, yeah, perished in her hand. Yeah, I wonder that dragon is like the doing of the Annihilation Gang, or if it's something else entirely. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <sighs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. Hmm. It seems like she doesn't even care about the general public. She just, she, 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 she's just interested in this as a whole. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally. Take your time. Hmm. Speak of the Astro Express and uh, discuss Black Swan's suggestions. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. Hmm. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes... Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> I use my brain, March, unlike you. Well... Excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family. Right. Which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. Okay. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. 
<laughs> even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Right. Also, can someone remind me who the Riddlers are again? Because I know who the Mass Fools are, but I forget who the Riddlers are. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. Uh-oh. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall, silver-armored man on Panacone. Oh! I reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claimed to have seen this invader. Sam, right? And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Oh, fucking hell, Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Has it hanging, guys? Hey, this is revenge for me. <laughs> this is my revenge for for you beating me in Ethereum Wars, Cell. It's, it's that hacker girl. Come on, March. Her name's not that hard to remember. I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon. Also, yeah. Um. Whoops. I forgot to do this. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot to, like, turn down the volume, because I turned up the volume for when the music was playing it for that Firefly cutscene, but then I forgot to turn it back down, so I apologize for that. I'll turn it back down now, but I... Or maybe I'll turn it back up, since Silver was kind of hard to hear. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Actually, well, I'll turn it back up, because Silver Wolf seems a bit yeah, soft here. Some valuable information, and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Although, it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. <laughs> Enter this string of code into your dream pool, the device you use to dream with, and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love that Sarol has like a little chibi of herself. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you might have to fight him. Over the hmm. Over the dream that can't be reached. Huh. Yeah, is it me or is Silverwolf's voice like unusually soft in this scene? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna lower back down the volume now. Like, yeah, he, March, March's voice sounds normal here, but Silver Wolf's voice for some reason was just way, way softer than it's, I think it's meant to be. <laughs> the situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Uh -huh. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is the Molten Knight. Of Moth's Iron Cavalry, a what a fucking title! Warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. I'm like, I'm excited to meet uh, Sam, actually. He seems like a Chad. <laughs> this message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. Hmm. Should we inform the family? What if we get found out? This could be a Salon on Hunter's trap. Hmm. Should we... Should we inform the family? We may be on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Hmm. Let's act first and talk later. If the family asks, just 
Tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm okay. Sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. <laughs> Where is she anyways? Oh, there she is. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust. Mm. Even if I personally did rescue you. I mean, friends. I trust her, but she it's clearly has her ulterior motives. Of course. Other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. We're counting on you, Welt. <laughs> As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly's returned to reality yet. Hmm. I'm sure she has. I don't have her contact info. Yeah, that seems to see, yeah. I'll ask Black Swan. I probably should have asked her to like, yeah, find a way to reach out in, in real life. But oh well, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna assume she's fine. At least I hope so. I'd be uh, very heartbroken if anything happened to her. Oh, hey, Swan. <laughs> you look anxious. Worried about that girl? Yes. You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Uh, sure. Yeah, let, let's talk to her. I want to get all of the bits of clues here. Uh, thanks for saving I me. I just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. Oh. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. Uh, can you confirm Firefly is safe? Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Okay. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream. Uh, which, which she might be. Possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. To be honest, I don't really trust memo keepers. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. Well, I haven't encountered but one myself. It's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Panacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. Have we met any other memo and keepers? I record this historic moment. Hmm. So you can try working together with others as well, as long as you can see them. <laughs> Yeah, have we met any other memo keepers in Star Rail? I'm trying to recall if we... Other than, of course, the girl at the Memory of Chaos. Um, I'm not sure if we met any other memory keepers. You're not returning to your room? No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Oh, so you're just gonna sit there and watch me... Watch me in the bathtub. Okay. <laughs> now that's all for now. All right. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Okay, well, nothing to it but to go in then. Use oh, enter the rules code. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Uh, lie down in the dream pool. In we get. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Oh, darling. Okay, I didn't know we were like that What's already. Wrong? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> That's good. Oh, I uh, didn't see the option. Yeah, I feel fine. It's good then. I know you're more sensitive to memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Whoa. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. Yes, relieve me as much as you can. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Yes. Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. And Marcus hurry we shall. Is this way. I should go meet up with her. Oh, okay, so now we're yeah, at the hotel 
<laughs> you were at the hotel in the dream, which is a bit trippy if you do think about it. Uh, your memories tells you that this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March, are you there? <laughs> you knock, but there's no response. Are you in there? We're about to set off. You knock again, but there's no response. March is me, Space Edge. You knock harder, and there's still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas. Oh. That girl isn't in there. And neither is this, her room. You, you, you could told me earlier before I ben began knocking. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Okay, go to the Those lobby in the dreamscape. Stumbling about. Strange. There appears to be someone else's presence here. Yeah, why else would these things just be dead if March... Neither March nor Himiko went through here. Oh! <gasps> back here again. Her. How is this possible? Wait. Wait. Oh, Acheron. Here, what's she doing here? Are there... No staff members here at all? Do, do, do they look like staff members? Huh? Hi. What are you doing here? You lost your way again? You know each other? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. Oh. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children. <laughs> overly now. friendly children. I'm indebted to you both for your help. All right. Hell yeah. Two purple ladies by my side. <laughs> Uh, Blacks will assist in battle for the next part of your journey. Oh, the sweet. And yeah, it seems like this Arcana sack is like different from my Black Swan's Arcanas. So I wonder if that means just like <laughs> DOT's galore. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Jesus, 34k? Okay. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? Uh, I, I was gonna ask you the same thing. We could ask you the same thing. Yep. Panacone's rife with rumors now about the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. Uh. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. That's true. <laughs> I can. How about in front of me? That's not what I meant. It's just <laughs> a figure of speech. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? Depends. Are you actually playable right now? I think not. I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Never hurts to have more people. We can trust Akaran. I think we should forget it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Uh, we can trust Akaran. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. Oh boy. I can already smell the shippers from a mile away. Open the path to the lobby. Oh, what the? This room. Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. <laughs> Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. <laughs> and we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. Okay. But first of all, I want to go killing. Okay, but where right. are we? There we go. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination. Oh. Oh, there's also but a uh, memory zone up ahead. A money one here as well. Twisted. Be careful, everyone. 
Okay, take the, take the elevator to question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Upward, down we go, I guess. Leave this place and continue on to the lobby. I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memory keeper, um, close her eyes. She's searching the room in an almost telepathic way. Even every nook and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method. In elegant so methods. Two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family. Oh. And some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. Uh oh. Wait. One. Two, Wait, that's Firefly. Three. Right? Wait. Three. Oh There's shit, she's back. Seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. It's the girl who was with you. Oh fuck. Firefly, what's she doing here? Could you be mistaken? You said she already returned to reality. It eludes me. But there is a known semblance in the memory zone. Mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's uh -oh. right behind her. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's that freaking dragon again. It's not good. Everyone, we must hurry. Smash the door open. Uh, for, or do a puzzle. That works too. There's no time. I'll just have to oh. break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Okay. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. Don't worry, Black Swan, I'm good at speedrunning puzzles. Very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There would hurry through here. Uh, I probably should let her, have let her finish, but oh well. <laughs> uh, sh yeah, Firefly's in danger. We can't fucking dally here any longer. Oh goodness, Firefly, what are you doing back here? Uh, the gate shuts. Your thoughts stirred and by s the swirling currents and pull along, descend into a deep abyss and sinking. When the hatch opens again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid, darkness, flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation engulfs you from within, then a voice emerges. I saw scorched earth. Oh no. And a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun. And whispered to me. Why do people choose to sleep? I think... The final sigh escapes, its origin unknown. Because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Watch out. A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. Oh boy. Uh bit nervous on this one. Okay, the birdie is here, but I'm not gonna talk to him right now. <laughs> Firefly's more important. Oh boy. I'm trying to see Is anybody out there? Nope, nobody. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Wait, somebody is there. Wait, that yeah, Firefly's there. Oh girl, what are you doing back here? Uh oh, cutscene. Hi, it's me again. Oh no. No, not you again! No! No, 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 please. Oh, fuck you! Oh, n Sorry. no. <laughs> fuck. I knew it was coming and it still fucking hurt. You son of a bitch, dragon.
I thought we killed it. Oh. You. Ah. Uh, you all right? No. Is is this a dream? Fuck! You don't tell me it's like Sao bullshit. I and mean, she dies in reality too. What just happened? Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right. Fuck, Relax. man. Relax. You'll be fine. <clears throat> but what about her? <sighs> Fuck, I saw it coming. Her death looks so high, it was so obvious, yet it's still... Ugh, the pain, it was still there. Don't worry, I'm fine. That was... that was too sudden. Please, please tell me she's still alive in reality or something. But I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th safety and warn them. Yeah, nothing that happens to you in the dream can happen to you in reality, right? So theoretically, she's, she should still be fine in reality, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I need some sort of... <laughs> Think to latch on to. You, Miss Acheron. <sighs> Fuck, man. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You didn't even draw your blade white. Okay, it's not the time to be blaming each other. Yeah, and he's. Uh, I chose to draw my blade. <sighs> Sorry, I. I had no choice. The priority's figuring out what happened. She didn't have a choice either. Yes, we will. But not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Uh. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, No compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then... With one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you. Mm. From someone burdened with a blood debt. I'm back. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Oh boy. No, keep her hands over memory bubble, signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as instructed, and a bone chilling coldness pierces your body, which then consolidates into a clear image. Ah. I'm hurt. Ah. Oh. Yeah, wholesome, wholesome and positive story, guys. <laughs> wholesome and positive story. <laughs> oh. You see Himiko Mitt and March 7 together, obstructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside them, unnoticed by the family. I understand the situation now. Please take her and retreat to a safe location. If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's matter first. Meet later at Clocky's statue. Memories in the bubble come to an end here. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let's uh. reach a safe place before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. Her mental state is unstable, so we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Can we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. 
Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. Some remnants of her, of her, some remnants of her presence. You mean the blood of her that's like scattered on the floor? Investigating on the way. Ah. Uh. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I think I need a few minutes too. <laughs> I, um, I have some unfinished business. You watch Akron turn away, you remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see her pause, her lips purse, eyes downcast. After a moment, she hunches down as if gathering something with her hands and rises again. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Aww. Uh, that's also a really good screenshot, I got it. Yeah. Starting you back <sighs> to the waking world. Let's go. The big sleep. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. This way. Follow me. Uh. Ah. A half faded cell phone lies on the floor, capturing an unsent message with a snapshot of two people wearing smiles. You pick it up. The cell phone is completely dissipated into a dream bubble. Ah. Uh. I'm hurt. <laughs> Both mentally and physically. Ugh. Ha ha Ugh, that hurt. That hurt more than I care to admit. It did. Ah, uh, Xiao Ji. Xiao Ji. Really no other toy of our freaking emotions, don't they? Fuck, man. Now I'm just scared for all the other characters. Cause... Ugh. I thought we killed that thing. I thought we fucking killed that stupid nest dragon, but no. Still here. What's the deal with that dragon anyways? <laughs> but I have to keep going. I have to I have to cling on to some hope that she's that she's still alive somehow. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not SAO bullshit and it's like you die in the dream, you die in reality. I uh, at least I hope so. Otherwise my poor heart probably can't handle what's what's gonna happen. Fuck, the music's not helping either. Ah! Get me out of here. What's going on? <sighs> Why is it getting hot in the memoria? You've noticed it too. Like something is burning. Oh god. I wanted them I wanted them to finish their dialogue, but I, I couldn't let them ambush me. Yeah, fuck man. We we gotta avenge Firefly. She did not deserve that. Uh, what? Oh okay, god, what now? Charred remains. Who the? Oh fuck! Did Sam went through here? They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. Oh no. I suppose we can slow down for now then. Investigate the charred remains. Oh hey, these guys are around. Careful. These traces are fresh. Our unsought guest isn't far away. Hmm. They're all just burning remembrances. A stark contrast to this deep sea. The remains of this creature bears narrow and deep incisions, with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flicker within, resembling the shattered stars as picked Departing towards IX, Aeon Yeah. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. Yep, this is. Fuck. This has got to be Sam, right? What's he doing here, too? The remains of this creature, pierced by an unknown weapon, reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to intense heat. You can't approach any closer. The seeming. The steam escaping from the shattered body would undoubtedly scorch you. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Okay, and the last of the charred remains, which... The surface of this creature's remains appears unremarkable. Uh, yet, you, as your hand grazes it, the searing heat transferred to your fingertips sends you jolting back as if struck by an electric shock. Without a doubt, a fierce inferno rages within the remains, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For years, for the sake of your safety, it's best if you keep your distance. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. 
Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... The Remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. Uh-huh. The method was clean and crisp. All one-strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. Uh-oh. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. The Annihilation Gang has nothing to do with, what, with what's happening here. Are you sure? Because it feels very Annihilation-like. This is truly Whoa. a magnificent sight. It's this room, then. Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Below? Right below? Doesn't look like there's a way down. Are you going to teach me how to face through the walls now? You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers. But I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach oh. the floor right below this room. Oh, we're going to crash a chandelier through the floor? It's really easy. See the chandelier? <laughs> Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Okay, well, now I've had some time to process what happened with Firefly. Holy shit, that was fucked up. Easy, Numbi. Yeah, that's the one thing I do want to know as well. Why does it go specifically after her? Because, yeah, I thought it was the Annihilation Gang because... Doesn't the Annihilation Gang, you guys told me, like, they had targets? And those targets were, uh, like, yeah, members of the Panacani cast? Okay, and again, yeah, part of me is trying to think as well, what is Sam doing here? What's his purpose in all this? Because, yeah, I do know the Celeron Hunters were invited, but... Why is he here? <laughs> also, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the content right now, yeah, be sure to subscribe because I definitely will be playing some more Saw Rail uh, in the days to come. Oh, there Look, we go. A solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I I hope we hope the family doesn't Look, get mad about that common one. Common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Hell yeah, we are. Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Boing. We landed safely. Whoa. This is amazing. These TVs again, what are they? Hmm. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if uh, those oh. newcomers found their way back Hi. home? Hi! <laughs> How long were you guys standing there? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your work. Oh god. Ah! I'm sorry, monkey, but <laughs> I have to kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting your work. No one will disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? I would like to see some magic. Are you ready? <laughs> Don't be too surprised. Okay. Firefly. Oh shit. Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. Oh. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, We'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Okay. Thing I encountered with my trailblazer friend. Ah, uh, really? She came back to investigate? Uh. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the watchmaker. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. Uh, she seems to be sharing her discovery with someone, and it's related to the Watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Hmm. And then... If I could try again... She stares at the screens. She 
Looking at herself in the mirror. What does she mean by try again? Did she try to bring the dragon or try and resummon the dragon again? Or the mematic entity, the death thing, whatever. And then and then she went this way. Let's get going. Let's Is there someone else? Oh? Or is she talking to herself? Hmm. Why did you... Nope, she definitely went with somebody. The situation has changed, and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. Mecca? Why? Wait, Sam? Who forced her to go that way? And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. Oh, yeah. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall male in silver armor. <laughs> yep. So, wait, Sam brought her back here. Oh, goddammit. Sam, you goddamn bitch. Based on these fragmented pieces, I swear to God, a Sam got her killed. It seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? No. This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless, Unless this was a tr this is a trap. Else he cares hmm. more about and needs. Hmm. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Yeah, I swear to God, if Sam got got her killed. My respect for him just went down the drain. Here. Oh boy. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Sam, how the f Okay, one, how did Sam convince her to go back in here? And one, why would Five Right co collaborate with Sam? It just makes no sense. Uh, yeah, I guess nothing to it but to ask Sam himself. Ah. Uh, and that leads to where we met her, right? Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Yeah. By the way, Xiaoji killed nine to ten playable characters on the Elysium arc. Jesus Christ, nine char nine playable characters. Jeez, that's a lot. In for my that, that, that's just a lot. Oh yeah, pen. Here we are. Back to the scene of the crime. She thought she had escaped, but. But she was walking right into. That, it's the end. Uh huh. Everyone. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Yep. Oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> what? Wait, what's he doing? I'm gonna hurt you all over. Oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit. You shouldn't be here. Silent Hunter Sam. Yep, boss fight, here we go. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, hey Sam, it's me, Kafka. Don't you, don't you recognize me? Oh, this music, though. Uh, 
Okay, not gonna lie, Sam. Not fuck you for getting <laughs> Firefly kill, but also your music kind of slaps. Alright, let's do this. I will set the seas of Uh oh. Consumes give us to attack or inflict weakness break. Uh oh. Uh. Again, the ill-tiding manifest. Oh, okay, so we need to use skill points to okay. Gotcha, gotcha. May as well kill. Ah fuck, I'm out of skill points though. Asset confiscated! You know what? Yeah, let's use our burst here. Memories are ever changed. I'll speed things up here a bit though. Lies an endless abyss! You will pay for Firefly's <laughs> death! Oh wait, shit! I forgot to use Kafka's. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Time to say bye, Sam. You're fired from the cellar monitors. <laughs> Good lord, yeah, his theme slaps though. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone ah, about shit. the Celeron hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Uh oh. Supernova? What the fuck is this attack? Ah, okay. It didn't hurt that badly. Thankfully. Relax. Yeah, probably should have swapped Topaz out, honestly, but oh well, we're in the thick of it now. Too late for regrets. Constellations are human creations! Shit, I I do like this like little robotic theme that you, that's playing right now. I should should have used my skills. BBHF Scorched Earth. What does that even stand for? Ow. Okay, we're actually hurting quite a bit here. Ugh. Oh, right, fuck, I just realized, yeah, the fucking burning kind of hurts. Yeah, someone regretting bringing Topaz into this. Okay, 65. Ah, okay, don't kill my Topaz, please. Oh, no, not this one again. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, God, even my Fushuan almost died to that. The omniscience's information in accordance. Stand still. Okay, so this should stop his his fucking super OP attacks, right? At least I hope so. All yours. That breathing sensation. Uh, you might actually be yeah. Uh, first, first. The waters lies an endless abyss. Yeah, I think I'll yeah I'll keep it on low uh, speed just to keep just to make things more intense. <laughs> All right, please stop doing your freaking OP attacks. Also, we're almost dead. Good oh, time. thanks for the skill points yeah, back. Time to say bye. Go down, Sam. Boom. Okay, fifty percent. Hit the we're almost dead. Oh my god, yeah, my, my characters are hanging out for dear life. Jeez. Relax. Ah shit, why can't I break his weakness anymore? Okay, Death Shred once more. Shoot. Oh god, yeah, my character's on the brink here. Let the Arcanas get him. Good damage? Oh god, not good enough though. Ah, god damn it. Fuck. Again, the ill tiding manifest. Shit. Oh, I just realized using skill points decreases our oh god, I might lose here. Ah shoot. Fuck. Uh well, what now? Do you guys believe Fushuan can can solo Sam? Shit. 
Okay, the DLTs are still going to do good damage. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. Come on, I okay, I believe in Fushuan. I believe in her. I believe Fushuan can do this. Just believe. Come on, it's 8%. We can do this. Alright, I, I can just yeah. I can I can outlast you. Yes, okay, one percent. Execution underway. Come on. If that's uh almost. Oh wait no, I did it. I think I did it. Oh old friends, new friends. Oh shit. Oh shit, get him, Acheron! Beat his ass! My dear. Oh. What? Hey! I wanna watch a fight! <laughs> the... Why are you here? Show. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Wait! Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. You- You two are working together, you motherfuckers! Oh fuck, I I I hope I Akron makes it out of there alive. Fuck. When I first saw the Ranger and the Hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. You mother Our transaction is complete. Oh, fucking hell. Never mind she was double crossing us. Damn it. Hi, Aventurine. What's happening? Are you two are in this together? Black Swan, you... <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. Rescue me from what? We had that un under control. <laughs> from that galaxy ranger. What? Saves me from Acheron? What? She was helping me though. What? Yeah, not gonna lie, even though I don't trust Aventurine at all, and he's like the most sus character in this whole, in the entirety of Panacony, he has drip. <laughs> he definitely has the drip. But yeah, what do you mean saving me from Acheron? Right. I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator. Oh. Who brings death and finality. Archon? Ac Acheron has a... Peculiarities. An emanator? Who's? Impossible. Why should I believe you? No way. Akron was right there at the scene. It could have been her. Yeah, wait. Yeah, if she's an emanator, then who's? Well, perhaps the hunt. Or destruction. Or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know uh, yeah. Inferno, Fatora's Ifrit? Leader, yeah, leader of the uh, Annihilation Gang. Yep, I fought him before. Well, in his tiny ghost form. Nicely done, as expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. Genius? He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. Right. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. Other? There's... Wait, there's other Annihilation Gangs? Hmm. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. 
Legends. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. Huh. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? Oh, so they're... Huh. They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. What? What? What happened? As I expected. Wait, what? Ifrit is dead? They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise... Wait, 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 wait. ...ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Wait, if Ifrit as in... Duke Inferno himself? Or... Or is it somebody else? Uh... I'm trying to remember all I can remember about the Annihilation Gang, but... If we, isn't that the name, like, yeah, the real name of Duke Inferno? He's dead? That can't be right, right? Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone. Checking into the hotel with only a music box. Wait. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? It is Duke Inferno? Really now? We, we just got introduced to him in that... Annihilation Gang teaser, and now he's already dead? What? He was killed off screen? What? It was Acheron. It doesn't rule out others. Do you have any other evidence? So Acheron killed Duke Inferno? Am I understanding that right? Do you have any other evidence that's her? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's Shit. no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can't well, investigate, it'll take some time. Fuck! Well, rip to all the people who says, yeah, I really hope Duke Inferno's playable. Well, rip to those people. So, my friend. The and Akron was the one who now. killed him. How, though? You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Nah. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a I'm truth. not sure about that either, a honestly. potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready... <sighs> Uh. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? Okay, I'm not I don't remember everything about emanators, but if you guys can remind me of who they are. Yeah, emanators are I'm having a hard time recalling if what they are, but if, if you guys can give me a quick refresher. But he gave me it's a been a while since I heard the word emanator, honestly. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. <laughs> Interrogate Black Swan, what a choice of words. Fuck, man, yeah, <laughs> that battle with Sam was intense. Yeah, I can't believe they just off-screened him like that. What? <laughs> Duke Inferno got Signora, but way, way more dirtier. They're one step below the eons. Oh, people blessed by... Okay, I see. Right. Yeah, Fantilia and Jingman, yeah, are also, like, yeah, emanators. Yeah, that's, that's, okay, the one question I have is, why? Why did Acheron feel the need to kill Duke Inferno? And more importantly, how? That I want to know. And, she, and you know, as, as we speak right now, Sam and Acheron are probably just, like, dueling to the death as of right now. Who, who knows who, who has won at this point? Emanators are just, like, direct servants of the Eons executing their will. Okay, but then what... What Eon would want Duke Inferno dead, in that case? I'm trying to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, the Eons of, like, destruction, hunt, or finality. That's one Eon I don't think I, I know too much about, the Eon of finality. Well, <laughs> hopefully they, their lore is covered in the simulated universe. Want me to tell you how to get a secret ending? 
Oh, there's a secret ending in this place? I, I didn't even know there were secret endings in this. Uh, actually, I, I I do know there's like secret ending in the beginning of the game. Like if you chose to remain with Herta at the beginning of the game, uh, I believe the game would just end right there and you just see the credits roll. <laughs> I, I saw it myself on YouTube. But yeah, is, is, is there a secret ending here? After you talk to Black Swan, okay then. My, my. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. You betrayed me. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. Why though? This is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. <laughs> Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Yeah, after this, maybe not. Maybe not. Can I trust a Venturine? My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. Really? But, hmm. always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. Who do you think the mastermind is? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter. Right. Just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. Hmm. It was an unexpected find. My god, everybody just has a hidden agenda in Pentagon, don't they? The annihilation gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why. During this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Of course. But now is not the time. I know you're confused. And sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution <sighs> of bubbles in water disappearing in an instant no matter what i hope you can trust aventurine i'm not sure who i can trust honestly trust <laughs> everybody me. just seems like a sus character with your own eyes this can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benacone. also yeah where's march and and uh and himiko where, where are they at i think just back in reality she's just chilling i will protect you once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. You're right, let's go. How would I know you're not trying to frame me? Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. Mm. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the Memo Keepers. I've warned him about that. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity, just in case. Time to right, yeah, they're with the family right now. I almost forgot. Okay, so you guys said, like here, I can choose to walk away from Aventurine and deny and like refuse his um proposal, right? 
And that leads to like a secret ending. So you said leave the room. Are oh. you still continuing down this path? This is a rare opportunity. Leaving here will also mean leaving the truth. So he, so canonically, I'm supposed to accept Aventurine's proposal, but <laughs> for a secret ending, I have to leave through here. You're right. Uh, I'm leaving this place. You're right. I can't leave. I've decided I'm leaving this place. I see. Fine. I respect your choice. Let's return to reality. After careful consideration, you decline Eventry's invitation. This time, he simply watches you as you depart from the memory zone without asking you to stay. Return to reality, you return with your companions. After a thorough discussion, the crew decides to assist Panacani, leading to the revelation of a conspiracy orchestrated by the IPC. Oh, just like that. <laughs> Hey, we're done. With the expulsion of an all ill-attentioned visitors, the Charmony Festival proceeds smoothly. As honored guests, you partake in the joyous atmosphere, full of laughter, clinging glasses, full of soul glad, and the exuberant singing and dancing of the crowd. May this moment last forever, and may we never awaken from this euphoric dream. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hawkeye Star Rail, that's the end. <laughs> Lead actor, me. Uh, as Firefly, uh, as Acheron, uh, as Black Swan, uh, as question mark as Aventurine. <laughs> sparkle as Sparkle! <laughs> uh, as Sam, uh, as Misha, uh, as Gallagher. Special thanks Robin and Sunday. <laughs> Script Supervisor Elio. <laughs> and yeah, the game just restarts. <laughs> okay, that was funny. But ah, uh, that... Yeah, that yeah, that that bad ending just kind of suggests that we just stay in the dream forever, which I don't like. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. Oh, it doesn't even give it doesn't even give me the option to do that again. Okay, but yeah, canonically we're supposed to accept Aventurine's proposal here, I guess, or at least talk it out of him. So yeah, let's go, let's go see him. He Amy just restart the game for, <laughs> for us for his script. He's just like, what the fuck? This this ain't how it's supposed to go. Restart. <laughs> okay, Venturi, and let's. Or I could still choose not to help. Nah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> let's get the bad ending again, folks. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like your heads up, saying yeah, there is a secret ending if you do leave. Let's go see what our boy. Yep. What do you want us to do? Uh, what's your proposal? <laughs> I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. Mm. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends... Don't let me down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I thought adventuring would be would be a bit taller, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Please, this way, if you will. This way? No, I'm not getting in bed with you, Aventurine. <laughs> oh right. I hate to disappoint. I mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. Yeah, when you barge into your... Oh, well, I guess yours and my room. Okay. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Get ready for what? Oh, I uh. remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Yeah, where you flipped the coin on me. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? Did you stop talking that tone? You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> like, if you want somebody to trust you, you don't typically talk like that. I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Oh, boy. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <gasps> what? Huh? What? No reason to choose otherwise. Why is Robin? And no other choices. What? 
No, don't tell me she's dead too. To be con- fuck you! <laughs> Ah, they hit us with the to be continued. Fuck. Ah. Oh, Sunday. Brother. Wait. I'm back. Oh no. No, this is Sparkle impersonating her. Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't it let just hit me. Emotions affect your perfect pitch. It just hit me. Remember earlier when March said that her voice sounded weird? That was because it was actually Sparkle at that time. Or maybe this whole time, the Robin we've been seeing is actually Sparkle. Oh no. I. No. Brother. You seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Did he really just kill off two of the characters in Pentagoni already? Somehow, a nightmare called... Death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was... Someone killed again? Yes. Don't oh, like you don't know. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other was you. Well, he knows. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Oh shit. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken wing boy. The odes of harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Bro, this is your sister being dead. I would throw hands like right now. <laughs> oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? Why so serious? People are dead. <laughs> I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? Oh, no. Uh, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives... The fated I day? ...out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your deep Fuck you, no. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. I'm surprised she, he's remaining so calm after his fucking sister's been killed. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't like There's that. No need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung. There? Who's Causing there? The malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they're but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're evil, too. 
And I... <laughs> I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. Watchmaker. Uh, if I can one stop one. Uh, who done it completed? Interlude. Stay tuned to find out what happens next in 2.1. <laughs> and here you go. A light cone with Firefly on it. Just to make you even more depressed. Uh, uh, what the f... Is everybody just evil in Panacani? Like, freaking first it was Sparkle, now freaking Black Swan betrayed me. Avenger, you're not sure what he's on about. And then there's also Sunday, who seems to have something up his sleeve. Yeah, despite all the stuff that's happened... Holy shit, that was a good-ass story. It had me hooked from beginning to end. It was so, so good. Good lord, though. The fucking casualties. And then also Duke Inferno is now dead, too. And then also... And then also Robin, why her? Why is she dead now? Goodness, at this rate, the entire cast of Pentagon is just gonna be dead. Jeez. Somebody tell the writer to tone down on the casualties. Oh wait, I'm still in the dream world. Yeah, and also Akron is super sus as well. For being a, a, an emanator. Fuck, who can we even trust anymore? <laughs> Revisit Firefly's hideout? Okay, yeah, I will, since you guys are insistent on it. Good lord, yeah, this story was... Yeah, had me gripped from beginning to end. It's so, so good, and I can't not wait to see what happens in 2.1. Ah, uh, of course. This is where we get Sparkle sticker. Or, Sparkle... Pff, Firefly sticker. How to get the two confused? Yep. The observation deck with breathtaking views. You can almost see the entire dream's edge as a, at a glance. It's not an easy place to find. The one who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. You recall the time spent with that girl, her gentle smile, her graceful steps, and the tears she shed in her last moments before she was murdered by that monster. At that moment, why did she apologize? What was she thinking? If you had reacted faster, would that silly girl not have died? A tinge of sourness wells from the depths of your heart, followed by a flame of anger, intense enough to reduce the strongest metals to ashes. Facing the railings and skyscrapers, you clench your fists. Ang fuck you, game. Don't give me that angry and sad gear. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, it hurts. I am in absolute pain and I need to... Trust my emotions. I am scared for 2.1. I'm excited for it, for like, for where the story goes, but I'm also scared of like, who else are gonna possibly kill off. Ah, okay, so this is this is Black Swans and Sparkle's companionship quest. I think you guys have told me about. Yep, to be continued. And yep, a masquerade duet. Yep, with companion characters, Sparkle and uh, Black Swan. I should probably do that before 2.1 comes out, and probably all of these as well. But I think I'm gonna save that for the next stream. Yeah, next stream I will do Sparkles and Black Swan's companionship quests. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to leave things off for today, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank everybody for coming out today to, to witness my heartbreak live and yeah, playing the Pina Connie Trail Base Mission live. Decide. Yeah, pretty much everything. Heartbreak, wholesome moments, and intriguing plot as well. Yeah, and as most of you said, this is definitely a Honkai game. One thing's for sure, I cannot wait to see where the story goes from here on, on out. But yeah, fellas, that is where this uh, where I'm going to draw the stream to a close. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts and everything. And subscribe today to see some more videos or streams from me. But yeah, that is where I'm going to uh, draw things to a close. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. And have good nights, and good luck with your Honkai Saurya polls and all. See you guys. Hope to catch you all next time. Ah! Okay, so I had to let that out. <laughs> so much pain. <laughs>